cry out, taking it to the streets, saying it loud, this truth is what keeps wisdom cry out, cry out, cry out, wisdom cry out. Sip on this word like baby Similac, eh? Watch the change like Berlin. Ask Marathon race, pace myself on the track, eh? Evil, iniquity, all of the heathens. Constant war is not just the weekend. So this what you should be eating. Cause immortality is what I'm feeding. Wisdom cry out, taking it to the streets. Saying it now, this truth is what keeps wisdom cry out, cry out, cry out, wisdom cry out. Yeah. I ways and by ways, wisdom cry out. Call it may day, wisdom cry out, saying don't be no simple no more. Come get instructions, get wisdom cry out. And wisdom cry out. Schisms, no doubt. She cries for the people that need a way out. Oh, Jerusalem, my mother. We want to go home, but without our father's wisdom. In darkness, we, in darkness, we fall. Wisdom cry out, cry out, cry out, wisdom cry out, yeah. I ways and by ways, wisdom cry out, call it may day, wisdom cry out, saying don't be no simple no more, come get instructions, get wisdom cry out. Wisdom cry it down, uh. Sunday night sets your week off right And when we bring it out We give the sense and set your airwaves on fire Bring in the water but it won't stop the blazing Bring in the fire Babylon open raisin Come and learn these laws Watch the doctrines fall Wisdom covers all Wisdom it to the streets Saying it now, this truth is what keeps wisdom cry out, cry out, cry out, wisdom cry out. Yeah. I ways and by ways, wisdom.
Cut to the panel. Check, check. Check, check, check. Mic check, mic check. Technical difficulties. Check, Are we check, on? Check, 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 check. I think I'm real low. You low? Put his mic yes, up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. There we go. There we go. Everybody, Just. let's say it all together. Woo-sa. Woo-sa. Oh, no, no. What you say earlier? Juza. Juza. It ain't all <laughs> Judah that be in our team. Not, right. not all Judah. Hey, hey, Shalom family, most high in Christ. Bless. All right. Right. Welcome back. We, we are back. back with another WCO, another that's edition. All right. praise to the most high for everybody that's watching. All praise. Real quick, shout out to the most high in Christ. That's right. The that's black right. Messiah. And salute also to the general, Bishop Nathaniel, what? Bishop Yawasai, Bishop Kanat. What? Home team, you know what I'm saying? Also, right. the deacons, the captains, the officers, soldiers, men, women, and children, everybody, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's right. All right, all praise to the Most High. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm Officer Hales. Officer Razzis. Officer Micah. Officer Isahel. Officer Gadaliah. Officer Joshua. And with that, we make up WCO. Y'all good? Y'all feeling in for Officer Anonymous? Yeah, y'all feeling in? Shout out to Officer Jonathan. Shout out to, Shout out to the tech team. Man. Thank you, tech team. Y'all, I, I see y'all trying to figure it We're out. We gonna right pray now. for y'all, man. We are gonna pray for y'all. All praise to the Most High. So I got our reader too, Officer Elahu. Oh yeah, Officer Elahu. Okay, in the building. Okay. Give it up. Hey, shout out to Officers of Court, man. Shout out to Officers of Court. Shout out to Officers of Court. That's right. But hey, Officer Elahu reading today. So it could have been hand claps. Damn. There you go. work it out. Uh, y'all pray for us, man. Put up the thumbnail real quick, please. Can we get that thumbnail going? All right, who came up with these bars? Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Bible humpers and, and Bible, Bible thumpers. thumpers. All right, give the Thumping. sense, y'all. Give us the sense. Please. All right, so Bible humpers, man. We're going to go into the lasciviousness of the church, of the Christians, right? These uh, black Christians, the black Christian church. We're going to expose the lasciviousness, the filth, the concupiscence that's in these churches, man. I'm telling you, y'all need to and leave the church. And ain't the violence. Ain't that violence. the thumping part? That, that's the thump. I ain't get that yet, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm just still, because just, just the humping part, bro. But, but you know who leading too. that, though? Them, them dang on pastors. Yeah, I'm telling you. Them damn pastors, right? And then you got the, put the thumbnail back up, IT. Put the thumbnail back up. And then you got the Bible thumpers. I'm telling you. We're going to show the hypocrisy Jesus. of Amalek. Of the this white Christian America Let's and the go. black church, we're gonna show you how they be thumping, man. How they use the Bible mm-hmm. to justify all the evil and chaos and murder that they do. So what what it really goes into that Bible thumping is the Bible gangs. Yes, right. Mm. That's what Amalek is a Bible gang. It's, a, it's, a, hey. it's low key a gang Ma. that like to play on reverse psychology and call the prophets of God a gang or a cult. Okay, right. see, we see the game. We see we see what y'all doing, but guess what? That's why we got shows like these. That's why we got Set It Off Sunday. That's right. right. All right? Because we're going to show, we're going to reveal who you are in That's the right. scriptures, Amalek. That's right. All right? So-called Jewish. All right. So let's start. What are we starting off with? Before, I think I already know where you're about to go off, Sarazas. And what we need. <laughs> we need that. Nah, hey, hey, I guess hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We got to be chill. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. A little wait. Bit more. Hold on. Can we get some order, y'all? All right, not off the rats. WCO, right? All of us, we all going along with this. We go so we have all made a covenant and agreed to play this video. Yes, yes. All right, so yes, look, sir. leadership, right. leadership watching. Hey, we seen. all getting fired. <laughs> the truth, hey, we all all out. I see the worst on PSR, man. I'm sorry, I gotta say, I see the worst on PSR, so we should be all right. So, so y'all you say shout out, PSR, right? shout, yeah, out shout out to PSR, right? Shout out to PSR. Shout out to PSR. Setting the bar hey, high, whenever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> whenever <laughs> off, whenever the officer Raz or any officer up here is throwing low key shade on any other show, take me out the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm Shay. Like you said, they set the bar, so. They set the bar high, you know. Hey, no, but on, on a real note, this is bad. Yeah. yeah. This is bad. And you know what, though? But this is viral. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And That's I what mean, I'm about to say, officer. Mm-hmm. It's coming from a Christian pastor. A pastor. Right? Oh, God. So it's about exposure. Say it ain't so. The things that he already mm-hmm. doing, the uh-huh. did, yep. it's about exposure. And he's so. supposed to be a Christian pastor? He's a Christian leader. pastor. A leader. This is supposed to be the leader of the people. Right. A leader, oh, a leader oh, of the people. people, man. Look, man, disclaimer, y'all. <laughs> For real. Let's go. 
Yeah. And some of y'all don't want the cake, but you do want the cookie. I'm going to let your mind go everywhere it wants to. I need some real comfort. Can you bring me something else to comfort me? I swallowed up. What used to comfort me doesn't work anymore. Some condoms. Some lotion. Swallowed up. Pause, pause it, pause it. <laughs> Yo, this dude is sick, man. Bruh, he got Bust out. This guy is sick. It's seriously something wrong with this guy. You know what's you know what's crazy is you can picture, hear picture. You can hear the you can hear he has followers. He has an audience. There's people right. in there. Live. Boy, no and way, a lot man. of them it sound like women. Boy, no uh, way, boy. Not for nothing, but it sounds like a lot of sisters are back there and they're shocked. And then you got weak ass men. There you go, Austin. That's what I was about to say. Weak ass yeah. men. Feminine Gay! men. That are allowing this to actually take place. You got to be kidding. Like, yo, this is crazy. We take all know. You can take them down. We all know the message. We know the message he's trying to portray right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, put it back up. Let's explain the message. Hey, Let's I go, know. hey, run it back, run it back. Let's explain the message as we play the video. And some of y'all don't want the cake, but you do want the cookie. Stop, I'm stop, stop. Did not say who said well. Okay. Who I'm back there agreeing? Straight yep. women. I'm telling you, all and these are single hoes. These are or they got or they got simp husbands. Yep. Damn. Go ahead. Let's Let your packs. mind go everywhere it wants to. <laughs> I need some real comfort. Can you bring me something else to comfort me? Who does that? Hey, what used to eyes. comfort me doesn't work. Eyes, what you were saying, Austin? Look how he rolling his eyes. Can you bring something else to comfort me? Dude, gay, man. Yeah, gay. <laughs> Feminine. He's That's gay. Church. Gay, gay. It's a black church. This the this supposed to be a Christian church. Wow, man. And he's simulating as if he has sperm on his on his face. Right. As a leader. Like of he a just church. got like he just got destroyed by a gang of men or something. This thing look crazy, man. This dude is, these are not our leaders, y'all. Right. In case y'all didn't know, right. these are not our leaders. He is not, not he is guy. not no Christian pastor. He is not the guy. It's not the guy. Christianity. His pal. name, his name is, is Gay Man Todd. <laughs> he is not a pastor. He's not a leader. He's not a priest. Can hey, I'll, get, can, I, I need a scripture real quick, man. Give me that in Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Give me Jeremiah chapter, um, Eight, no, I'm sorry, Jer uh, Jeremiah 23, 14. Yes, sir. Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 14. This is, this is what he's doing. This is what men like this that are put in place by the government, by politicians, they right. agree with this. These are the kind of leaders they want to they wanna put in place to be the example for our people because they know that all it does is corrupt the minds and spirits of our people. Right. That's right. Read what you got. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem an horrible thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers. Their strength in his, in his hand. Why? Because they continue to flood him. Yes. Notice, right. he's done so many. This ain't the first time that this guy has struck. Mm-hmm. He's done hog spitting people's faces. Right. What else has he done? He um peanut butter on the Bible or something like that. Yeah. Every it's like every week he's desperate to remain uh relevant yes, by right. doing some type of controversial right. act. Right. And then that that's non biblical right. whatsoever. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and just to remain relevant. Because you you would think the Bible, your knowledge of the scriptures would keep you relevant, would keep people wanting to come to you because you're you're learning the Bible through a leader. You're learning the Bible through our. That's why all praise to the Most High for our bishops, our deacons and captains, and our leadership here in IUIC, man. That's right. Because if sure. not, man, we'd be bugged out like Isaiah one and nine says. Right. We'd all be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Read that again. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem. And horrible thing. This is a horrible thing that we got to see, that we got to witness. This guy's supposed to be representing the Bible. Come on. 
They commit adultery uh-huh. and walk in lies. Read. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers. And they supporting this garbage guy. They supporting this dude. Right. Our people are supporting this guy. Simps and single hoes. Come on. That none doth return from his wickedness. And nobody's understanding how to really keep the commandments of God. Nobody's really understanding which way to walk and please the Heavenly Father. Right. Right. They're not returning people from their wickedness. This is go- All this is going to do is going to continue to put people in more wickedness. Right. That's going to put them more sleep. Come on. Yep. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and you the see- inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. We watching the same thing. Yes, sir. We sir. are watching the same exact thing. Go back, go yes, back, play it again. Hey, sir. can I back you up, officer? Because you said something heavy. Because they not his job as a priest, as a pastor, as a leader, is to teach the laws of God, to right. teach the Bible and show the people what they're supposed to do and what they're not supposed to do. Real Correct. quick, go to Ezekiel 22 and verse 26. Because this right here is, like we said, is lasciviousness, is, is uh, concupiscence, is all matters of evil. And he's, he told you, I'll let your mind uh, go where it right. wants to go. Right. He he was, I'm going to just let you do what you yep. want to do. Right. But hey, he, with, with your mind, he planting a seed, see, though. There you what go. He doing, he's a demon. What yep. he's doing is perverting the gospel. There perverting the gospel. Right. Watch this. Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 26. Come on. Her priests have violated my law. Read. And have profaned my holy thing. They have profaned the holy thing. What is that holy thing? The Bible. Because they say they are, they, they're, they're for righteousness, but they're not. Right? Come on. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. That's they put right. no difference between the two. Because he's, and notice, there's never a Bible in his hand. At he all. He never comes out the Bible. At right? all. Instead, there's a, there's, there's a very effeminate background. Right. Right? And, and, and Looked like he in his, his little face. sister's room. Right. And he had a man serve him. And a man. Damn, that's <laughs> a good point. Oh, Lord. That's a good point. <laughs> Uh, all, all confusion, right? Read. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean. Come on. And I've hid their eyes from my Sabbath. Read. And I am profane among Watch them. Watch the next verse. Come on. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, ravening the prey. They are like wolves. They're preying on the people, on the souls of our people. That's what they want. They want your soul. They want your money. All they're out here is to destroy you. Finish that. To shed blood. And to destroy souls to get this honest gain. There you go. That's what he's all hey, about. Hey, that's the beauty of the scriptures, yeah. that it exposes these fake, false right. pastors, right. that all people right. believe in them. All you got to do is read the Bible. All you got to do is read the Bible. You'll see that this is a fake prophet. Right. Yep. This is a false prophet. Go back to that Jeremiah 23. Go back to that Jeremiah 23 and jump down to verse 16. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 23 and verse 16. Freedom. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. Don't be listening to these fake, false pastors, man. Because these are, notice what it says. These, don't hearken unto the words of these prophets that prophesy or try to minister unto you. Come on. They make you vain. What do they do? They make you vain. You think you're worshiping God. You've been going to church all these years right. and you've been doing it all in vanity. Because mm. they're not teaching you like we read up earlier how to return from your wickedness. Right. They're making you vain. They're making your whole worship service, whatever you want to call it, your Sunday school, all of it is vanity. No, they make you vain. Come on. Suspicious. They speak a vision of their own heart. No, no, no. They're reading out of the Bible. They speak a vision of their own heart. They're speaking their own words. Right. They're not right. saying they'll say, they'll say if the Lord. Every time, no matter what radio show, no matter what TV, no matter what, uh, IUIC is doing no, whatever platform form we have. You gonna see Bibles open, yep. right? You always gonna see Bibles open and Bibles being read. Right. Hey, I'm also saying, Bishop Nathaniel did a, a, a interview and he had to keep referring back to the Bible because right. they said, "So what do you think? Yep. What is so right. you feel like that? Is right. is that what you're telling me?" Bishop like, like no, nah, I gotta get a scripture. Bishop <laughs> like, I gotta get a scripture. I, I just got scripture. Hey, right. here's another yeah. point too. When oh, it says it, speaking a vision. That. Look at the vision he's putting out there. there he's you go. speaking that, and then look what he's doing. That ain't in the Bible. That's a good point. What the That's hell a good point. Because he he's using visuals right. to, 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 to uh, promote his point. Exactly. And the thing is, is that, like, as you stated earlier, Officer Michael, you pulled out a good point. It's a perverse, it's a perverse representation right. of whatever you want to think. That's what he says. Right. Right? Read that. They speak a vision of their own heart Read. and not out of the mouth of the Lord. You, y'all not learning the Bible with these people, man. Right. You not learning the Bible. 
Yes, what sir. Say? Uh, what I did want to say was, you see, what the past, what does the Christian pastor always say? God gave me a vision last night, and I got to give it to you. God put something on my heart, and I got to bring it to you. No, the Bible, the Bible is God's word. You understand? The Bible mm -hmm. is what you need to go to. You, God didn't give you a vision. God's vision is in the scriptures. Let's right. The Lord. So let's play that video all the way through. I got another video at this. This the time. last time we gonna play this thing. He he did wash his face in the next video. <laughs> we got we got sisters covering their face. We got people in the audience covering their face. They don't want to see this no more. All right, but hey, it's, it's reality. Look, some of y'all don't want the cake, but you do want the cookie. What that got to do with the scripture? I'm gonna let your mind go everywhere it wants to. I need some real comfort. Can you bring me something else to some comfort, comfort me? And then a man walk in the picture. What used to comfort me doesn't work anymore. What the hell is this? Some condoms, some lotion. Where's my Damn. laptop? Oh, here it is. Now, I know some Christians are uncomfortable right now. Come on, man. This guy is. How is a he joke. not uncomfortable Ooh, with that on his face? Man. He's a joke. Christianity he is, is a, a joke. joke. Christianity is a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke, man. It's not the guy, man. What'd you have, Officer Get Alive? I just said he did wash his face in his next video if you want to watch that. He, he cleaned up? He cleaned himself up a I little bit. I think there's a catch to that. Just let's see what he did. Come on, let's go. Keep in mind, this is someone. <laughs> that is a sick <laughs> this dude is man. Wild. Put it on off to get a lot. He got to get a sense. What you get? I'm just, he, wa right. he washed his face. That's what I'm just trying to tell y'all. He cleaned himself up. He gave him a little little uh, bucket bap. Uh, bap is that right really there. him, though? Yeah, yeah that's that him. was him. He was he was promoting his church to say, "Welcome well, back to transformation." <laughs> and he come got to the transformation church, right. so, he, so you can be transformed, transformed and be whatever to a sodomite. To a sodomite yep. man. That man got demons on him, and he got them Tokyo schoolgirl elevens on too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go back. Look yeah. at this shoe. You say he got on what on? What they call? That's them Tokyo schoolgirl elevens, bro. <laughs> what? Bro, look at the shoes. Elevens. Kind of remind me of that. You know what I'm saying? They wear them in Japan. shoes that they had on on one movie. I'm done. <laughs> hey, hey, can, hey, can I get a scripture though? Go ahead, go ahead officer. Give me uh, Ezra. Ezra chapter seven and verse ten. Going into what the leaders should be doing. The, uh, all the examples are right there in the Bible. Here's an example by Ezra. Go ahead. The book of Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 10. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord. Come on. And to do it and to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. That's what he should be doing. All the pastors should be doing that. Anywhere they call, any person call themselves a man of God, they should be teaching the Bible as it is written and not out of, out of your own mouth. Like Peter's 4 and 11 said, any man speak, let him speak the right. oracles of God. Right. Not all this... Coonery and buffoonery. It gets, right. it, it gets worse, y'all. Play this. This is uh, supposed to be another famous black pastor, right? He's supposed to be doing a, a church. This is supposed to be a church uh, that he goes to visit in Jamaica, um, a concert or whatever the case may be. Look at this buffoonery, y'all. There has been a lot of talks on social media in regards to, to the Bible event Humper. that took place at the National <laughs> Stadium yesterday. Who is this? Kirk Franklin. Song. Kirk Franklin. As it relates to the performance of Kirk Franklin whoa, and whoa, the rest whoa. of performance, our performers in the event. Benji's Does not. Hey, pause it, like, pause it. So he went to Jamaica with this foolery, and Benji, they not having it over there. They call him a Bati man, a Bati boy. Gully. Okay, Gully Queen. All right, so they say they're not having that in Jamaica. Okay, because he tried to bring that stuff that they. They doing Babylon over there, and they not hey. having it. The, the brothers over there, they they at least they standing up for righteousness and say, nah, bro, don't bring that stuff over here, okay? Yo, these are not the guys at all, man. I'm just trying to figure out, officer, what Kirk Franklin song make you move like that? Like what, what, what song requires 
Only song I know is Stomp or something like that. He came out years ago. <laughs> what what song required oh, man, right? him to kind of dance? Oh, was that was that a um was that the Lil John song or something? Man, I don't know. But this yeah. this here we go. Another representation of somebody that's supposed to be leading all people. Somebody's supposed to be a pastor to teach the Bible, mm -hmm. and he up there performing and dancing, shucking and jiving. Mm -hmm. But you know why people listen to this though? Because they're okay when Beyonce wants to qu quote a scripture, mm. or Jay-Z, or artists yeah. are the ones to give, uh, they're the ones giving you counsel and adv and, and life life uh, life advice. Right, mm -hmm. right. So it, it's no difference. All these, all these TD snakes, all these, they're all a joke, man. All of them, they, can, they have nothing to offer. They're right. just there to entertain That's and it. to speak, uh, what do you call it? Tell you smooth words and lies. Right. Right. A motivational right. speech. Right. And all people see them because the um, the enemies of this world that hired them are paying them off. They're like, oh, he must be rich. He must be. Mm -hmm. He must be. Um, he's he's blessed by God. Right. Gets around mm -hmm. twenty and verse nine. Transforming themselves to angels of God. Right, right. there you right. go. It's, yep. That's a good point. They transform themselves into the angel of light. They ain't got nothing to do with the Most High God. Right. There's never a Bible. Nobody's learning God's word. Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 20 and verse 9. Uh -huh. There is a sinner that have good success in evil things. You see? So there's a sinner. He's going to have good success in what? In evil things. So not everybody that's, just because these pastors got a lot of money in jets like Creflo Dollar, like T.D. Snakes, Joel Osteen, Kirk Franklin, just because they got a lot of money in mansions and all that, that success did not come from the Most High God. Read right. it again. There is a sinner. There is a what? A sinner. That's what they are. They're sinners. But because our people don't know the laws, y'all right. don't know what laws they breaking. Right. Exactly. That's the problem. Come on. That have good success in evil things. They're going to have good success in evil things. Things like yes, this. Keep reading. Sir. And there is a gain. And there's a gain. They done gained all this fame. They gained all these audiences. Right? right? Read. That turn up to loss. It's going to turn to a loss, though. It's going and the, and the ones that are following after them, you following behind the Christian church, the Catholic church, and so forth, you're gonna you're gonna lose out too. You're gonna lose the kingdom. You're supposed to go to church to learn how to get the kingdom of heaven. Well, the laws is the way. The faith right. of the black Messiah, right. that's the way. Right. But they're not teaching that. Right. So how are we going to learn anything, man? We got another fake false pastor Yes, so this goes, this goes into what you just brought out, officer. Play this next video, y'all. This goes, because this is going to sum up the whole uh, Christianity, Catholicism, all of them. They all in the same pot, man. And it goes back to that lascivious. Oh, movie. Lord, not this guy. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you all of them, how they all play a different, it comes with a different spirit. Watch this, y'all. Also, I say you better chime in on this too. Here are 10 signs of a false teacher. They will teach false doctrine. The God I serve doesn't care whether you're gay. They are marked by arrogance. I am God Almighty! They have godless character. She can still twerk for the Lord. They are lovers of money. Every time you give, God knows how to repay you. They manipulate you. You can do it faster than that. If I had a gun in your room, you could do it faster. They oppose the truth. So people don't go to hell for sin. They itch people's ears. So it's not a sin in your church to have an abortion? People have to live to their own convictions. They deny basic doctrine. God the Father is a triune being by himself. There's nine of them. They grieve the Holy Spirit. Who was the biggest loser? God. And they teach another gospel. Confío en Buda. Creo en Dios. Allah. Todos somos hijos de Dios. Subscribe for more videos like Damn, that. Damn, boy. Crazy. Man. Bro, that's... Bro, he... Yeah, drop a bomb for that. Yeah, crazy. drop a bomb the, for the that video. The world is full of those lies. Yep. There you go. What you got, off, yeah, I, So, I was doing some research for the show, and I can't... Turn his mic up. Yeah, I was doing... You good, you good. Six. Okay, so uh, doing research for the show, I came across this video, and I'm like, man, this is capturing like eight, nine, ten prominent, well-known, so-called religious figures. And um, I just kept going back to, give me Colossians 2 and 8, you know, just to sum it up, because we'd be here all day just on one of them. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. The book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy and vain deceit. So the writer's telling us from the beginning, beware. I mean, we got to be on lookout. We got to be watching. And what are we watching for? 
you shall know a tree by its fruit. And we're looking at the manifestations of all kinds of wickedness, like Officer Razor said at the beginning, lasciviousness, concupiscence, lust, evil desires, all these things. And these things are manifested in, in their delivery and their messages. Read that one more time. Beware, lest any man spoil and you. And they're going to spoil you. They're going to take advantage of you. They're going to rob you. They're going to make merchandise of you like Officer Lez was bringing out. Just saying how they're just using you to gain the profit off of you because y'all don't study the Bible for yourselves. You don't believe in the Bible. So anything that these people tell y'all, y'all just follow it. You sitting up there with a man with that stuff around his mouth and you don't get up and leave. Hey, officer, you know what was so you know? heavy with this video that you pulled? Because it just showed, exposed the hypocrisy in the church, right? Right. It says they, they support abortion. They say you're not going to hell if you sin. Uh, what else they said? Uh, I, I am God. Man, yes. What the hell is this? All all the, the giver. Yep. All nations can be saved. Yeah, We're all, right. all one. Right. This, hey, real quick, go, you, you don't want that no, scripture? No, go ahead, go ahead. First Timothy 4 and 1, man. First Timothy 4 and 1. This is what we are living in in these times. This is why we got to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. The Bible says, blessed is he that read. Read for yourself. This is what we tell brothers and sisters when we teaching on the That's street. Right. We tell them, don't take our words. Do the research. There you right. go. You don't right. have to join us. Do your own research. Right. Read the book for yourself, because that's what we did. Right. And we said, you know what? Right. This stuff makes sense. Right. Right. What the, mm -hmm. these brothers in purple is bringing out through the spirit of the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ, it makes sense. Bring it out. Watch this. Read. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4, and verse 1. Come on. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Watch. That in the latter times... Some shall depart from the faith. Some shall depart from the faith in the latter times. That's what we're seeing going on right now in 2024. You people still believe in this garbage, right? Come on. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's what we've seen. Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's what that was. We saw 10 different doctrines of devils. Seducing spirits with all that gyrating that they do. Right with the with, uh, 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 butt naked on the on the on the uh, on this um on the concert, okay? It's doctrines of devils. Read on. Speaking lies. Speaking lies. In hypocrisy. In hypocrisy, they're hypocrites right. because they say one thing but do another. Right. Read. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron, and that's all people today, man. Right. They don't believe. Right. They they stuck on stupid. Yeah. Hey, Hey, get that real quick, Ezekiel 13 and 10, because that scripture you just pulled, it says, what are they doing? What are all these people actually doing? All these that have been put in place, they have been there to seduce our people, to confuse us. Read right. what you got. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 13 and verse 10. Because, even because they have seduced my people. What did they do? Seduced my people. Come on. Saying, peace, and there was no peace. So this whole time, they over here... They're teaching, they're, they're teaching us these stupid doctrines. They're teaching us that everything is well as long as we believe in the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we dying in the streets. We locked up at, inc we're incarcerated at rates higher than any other nation. Right. We're, we're the highest in diseases. Right. We're the highest in abortions. Right. Right. But all of them are saying, oh, no, well. We don't want people to feel convicted for their decisions. Come as you are. The hell is don't this? worry. God will be at peace with your decision. No, it's not. It's not what's going to happen. Right. We are going to be judged for the decisions that we make that are ungodly. Don't allow these fake false prophets, these fake, fake false teachers and pastors to seduce you. Finish that off. Saying peace and there was no peace. Uh huh. And one built up a wall and lo. Others dubbed it with You see that? So voice. one built up a wall, meaning he tried to build up a foundation. That's what these pastors do. They they sitting here building up these evil, wicked churches. Uh-huh, these mega churches. Read. And one built up a wall, and lo, others dubbed it with... So others are... Those, those... You, If you're in that Christian church, you're the one that's trying to help them build that weak foundation that they're doing, that they're trying to, uh, they're trying to strengthen. Right. But it's not going to stand. Keep reading. Others dubbed it with untempered mortar. That's like that's like cheap concrete. Mm -hmm. It has no foundation. It's not gonna last. It's not built upon the rock, which is Christ, which is a strong, solid foundation. It's not gonna happen because you're being seduced. You're being seduced. Right. That's 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 what Michael Todd is doing. There you go. All his theatrics, uh -huh. all his showmanship. That's that weak. That's that. Uh, how does it say? The untempered mortar. That's right. what that is. Cause it's hey, that's a heavy point you're saying, yeah. officer, because when Christ comes back, the black Messiah, 
you're not going to be able to stand. Like it says in Jeremiah, where's your God? Right. Where's your rock? <laughs> right. Stand on that, that you right. was believing right. in. Stand on that, and it's going to crumble. It's that, going to fold. Yo, that concrete is going to crumble. It's going to be brittle. It's not going to stand, man. Where we at? What we got next, y'all? Hey, yeah, pull this. So oh, like we, showed, we showed all those different doctrines and philosophies, right? This is what it produces, Bible humpers, man, because these are Christians. These are Christians. Pull this on the screen. Read that. This couple swapped roles for their wedding as a sign of commitment to each other. Thoughts? <laughs> bro. <laughs> this, oh I'm telling you, bro. We Tra have fallen yeah, so far, man. man. And, and it's all people. Because Esau will be gay, right? Esau right. will be transgender and all that. But Jake got to go to another, another level, level with it. They, they got to take it to it. It, 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 it don't make it no better that he got long hair. Man. <laughs> Scripture talk about that. That's <laughs> it. We know of no such custom. <laughs> Bro, get that Lamentations too. I bet the pastor that was over that wedding didn't say anything. This is he, oh, went, he, al he went along with it. He married, married him. The hey, zoom pastor. in on the bottom two pictures. Now, now, uh, now, uh, now I bind you together as there you, go. you the husband and you the wife. You had it. You had it. Look at this. This, oh, is, this crazy. is crazy, yo. But that, hey, get Deuteronomy 22 and 5 real quick. We just got to hit you with the basics. Yeah. Because sure. this is sure. why sure. this is a sin. Look at what the Lord says. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Read it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, how do you know that they switch roles? Because we all know mm -hmm. that what, what she's wearing right now, those right. pants mm -hmm. and that attire is that of a man's garment. Right. That belongs to a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall this simp-ass brother right here. He ain't Bam. supposed to be wearing no dress. Or nail polish. Nail polish. Bam. Man got nail oh, polish oh, on, man. And he's showing his nail. He's, oh, Lord. Man went to the shop, got his nails Bam. done for his Bam. wedding, man. Bro, Come on, this is man. crazy, Come on, bro. man. Nail hey, the head. They Jude. thinking. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We doing name that tribe all right? <laughs> no, no. He, 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 he definitely got a Levi head. <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Levi don't rock dreads, though. You got a Levi forehead. Levi don't, Levi don't rock dreads. Do, Wyclef, Wyclef had dreads. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Come back ready. Hey, I bet you they think wholeheartedly that God is blessing this marriage. Right. But look at what, look at what God thinks about it. Read. For all that do so are abomination. Unto the Lord thy God. Your wedding was an abomination. Yep. That's what God says. Yep. Your Bruh. wedding was disgusting in his Facts. sight. Bruh. Your wedding was garbage in his sight. You got some officer? No, no, I was just. Hey, go, go to the just, top go, image. Go to the top. Look go how, to the top image. Take us off picture. Yeah, go to the. Man. Oh, man. Yo. This man she, getting caressed, man. Not, she's like, nigga. He's I my B. Is, yeah, this is you my B. B. You my oh, B. No. Hey, man, get Lamentations 214. You bruh. my B, bro. Damn. Read what you got. Read I know they say marriage is right after Jeremiah. The, the reader stuck. I'm telling you, the reader, he fumbling. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> the book of Lamentations. Hey, double screen. Chapter 2 and verse 13. IT, y'all all right, it's man? It's a precept. Picture all in picture. Right? IT, y'all all right? Let's give it up for IT, y'all. Hey, send, up, send us some, uh, some arms to the IT team. Hey, for real, though. We going to get them some psychological help. Hey, all right, go ahead. The book of Lamentations, chapter 2 and verse 13. 14, 14. 14. The prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee. You see, this is a vain and foolish thing. Come on. And they have not discovered thine iniquity. And our leaders are allowing this vain and foolish, our so-called leaders are allowing vain and foolish things to transpire. They're not sitting there saying, hey, you know, to discover that iniquity is to correct you. Hey, you're not supposed to be in a dress. And you're not supposed to be wearing pants. Right. No, the God ain't gonna like that. Whatever y'all came up with, this is your own invention. Right. God don't, he don't agree with what y'all doing. He's not gonna bless off on your marriage. Right. Come on. To turn away thy captivity. So that you can be blessed. Right. So that your marriage can prosper. Come on. But how seen for thee false burden. This is a false burden. This is all this is false. This is not blessed by God. Come on. And causes of Banishment. That's the reason why the Lord turns his back on us. This is why God turns his back on us, because we don't want to do what the Bible says. And as you stated, Officer Razzis, they, uh, they wholeheartedly are probably Christians or, or some type of uh, denomination. Right. Most definitely. Keep reading. Oh, that passed by 
clapped their hands at thee. Come on. They hissed and wagged their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying. You see that? So the other nations, this is why they see us as a joke. This is why they don't respect us. I'm so less. This is why the black woman don't respect us, man. There you go. You think a woman, yo, I'm telling you, no woman going to respect that right there, man. Hey, right. Hey, it, right. Was, it was probably her Rest. ideal. Of course. Oh, and he went with it. He, he went with it. Simp. 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 And we got to call him a shimp. Shame and a simp. Shimp. 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 Keep reading. Houston. Is this the city? That man called the perfection of beauty. They say, so this is the perfection of beauty? Right. This the best you could do? This is this, y'all are the Israelites? Y'all the real Jews? This what you call beauty? This is wow. not, the, the law did not, I mean, the, is this Christ what y'all God have y'all doing? Right. Christ, Christ did not draw this up <laughs> right, as the author right. of beauty for the man to be looking the way like, the way he right. looking with nail polish on his hands, wow. with his eyebrows done, with a uh, sis shaving her head. She got a fade. Look at her fade. She, you know what I'm saying? She got a blowout. Keep reading. The joy of the whole earth. Come on. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. You know who those enemies are also that open their mouth against us? Those same pastors. Not just the other right. nations, but even, even T.D. Jakes. Read. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say, we have swallowed what? up. We have Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Read, bro. Read. Read. I need Where you TD? to read. Where TD at? Officer Allah, I need you to read. I need you to be on point. We, Let's go. We have swallowed her up. What, did, what do our enemies say? We have swallowed her up. They say, have you swallowed. ever been swallowed? Swallowed. swallowed. Hey, swallowed. Have you ever gave, been swallowed? That just gave a whole new meaning to consummation right there. <laughs> Tell you, bro. Bro, read. Finish that off. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. You know why this is the day that our enemies look for? Because they can't wait to see us destroyed. destroyed. Yep. Right. They right. hate the fact that God loved, loved us, died for us, and right. chose us. They hate that. Right. Right. So they look at us and they're like, we love it when y'all act like niggas. Right. Right. We love it when y'all act like hoes. Right. We love it when y'all act that way. Come on. We have found. We have seen it. You see that? We couldn't wait for that, man. That's what the enemy said. Yeah. Right. Also, this goes back to like, and we ain't gonna pull it, but in Daniel seven, right, twenty five, where it says they wear out the saints of the Most High, man. Uh -huh. right. This is this is we wear it out right here. This is the bottom of the bottom. We we are fully destroyed. Look at the sister, man. Man. She's like, yo, I really married a B. Right. Uh huh. Can I get one? Can I get a precept? Yeah. yeah. He gonna like, be on the bottom. So rock thirty four and nineteen. Sirach 34 and 19. According but to what we're going over, these Bible humpers. Watch this. Come on. The book of Sirach, chapter 34 and verse 19. The Most High is not pleased with the offerings and of the And they take wicked. this before the Most High. Do you, God brought this together? Nah, he ain't pleased with Hell that thing. Nah. That's Hell a good nah. point. Read it again. The Most High is not pleased with the offerings of the oh, wicked. Come on. Neither is he pacified for sin by the multitude of sacrifices. He ain't pacified. It don't matter what type of offering they bring before him, that marriage ain't consecrated by the Most High God. Not yeah. at all. Right. Not at all. So IT, watch watch this now, y'all. It gets even worse with these Bible humpers. This is why we, as the Israelites, this is why it's our job to defend the gospel, for us to hit the streets and prophesy against these wicked pastors. Because look at this evil right here, y'all. Pull this up, IT. Read that off so I see it. Outrage as traditional Ghanaian priest, 63, marries 12-year-old girl. I'm telling whoa, you. What the hell is whoa, going on? Whoa. This is the Bible humpers. This is that lasciviousness, that concupiscence in these pastors. Watch this. Read on. An influential traditional priest, age 63, has sparked an outrage in Ghana by marrying a 12-year-old girl. Yo, tell me with this Yo, this is rape. This is rape. That's, that's you got to call a spade a spade. Yep. That little 12-year-old, that's a baby, man. What is wrong with these dudes? What is wrong with them? 63 years old, he about to, he about to fart and die. Yep. What are you doing? Come on, read. Boy, ain't no way, boy. The priest, Numu Bortike, Bortike Lawe Tsuru, married her in a customary ceremony held on Saturday. In the face of criticism, community leaders have said, 
People do not understand their customs and tradition. No, no, that's not their custom. No, right, no, right. no, no, that's not their custom. Because if it was, the people wouldn't be outraged. Right. Okay, the people wouldn't be outraged if that was their custom. They lucky they didn't stone them and then put a or put them in a out. tire and then and then light them on fire. Bring it out. Right. He's lucky that didn't happen to him. Right, right. Once again, I'm t- this the the who's the one behind it? Esau the devil. I'm telling you, that Esau yep. the damn devil. Because if not. If it was our people who had morals and ethics, this would certainly be never, never tolerated. We would not be condoning this, man. That's why our people, that's why there was an outrage. I was going to say, all of a sudden, that go Can back you to imagine that was your daughter, bro? That ain't going to be my daughter. Yeah. Can you imagine, bro? I'm getting locked up. I ain't going to lie, I can't. I'm getting locked up. I'm getting locked up. Shotgun <laughs> wedding. Huh? Shotgun wedding. Yo, it's a shotgun <laughs> wedding, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he ain't going to. That wedding ain't gonna happen. It was my dumb. But yes, I, what I was gonna say, officer, was this goes back to that video I, that was posted earlier when that pastor D-E-D. said, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, officer. You go good, officer, but cook with them, them, <laughs> <laughs> with them living in their own conviction. Remember that, that that's what that one of them, uh, 10 pastors said about abortions. He said, you, you cool with abortions? He said, yeah, I think people should. Living their own convictions. Oh Lord, that's, that's, that's what that same opens mindset. up to, like officer. Said, that's what that opens up to, that's man. What it opens that theology, up to. that, that right. Christian, de- yeah. I'm telling you, Christian, hey, right. the devil. And that video was so heavy. I think we need to go back to it. We do. Can we please? We won't come back to this article, but we need to play that video one more time. Officer Raz, you was in the spirit when you found this. Nah, nah, that was Officer Sasayo. All praise. All Shout praise. out, to Officer Sasayo. Watch this. Yep. Here are 10 signs of a false teacher. They will teach false doctrine. The God I serve doesn't care whether you're gay. They are marked by arrogance. Pause it, pause it. Yeah, come we, on, man. He don't care if you gay, yeah. right? That's the, what they saying. The God she, she serves. serves. Right. And I'm telling you, yo. Yeah. Hey, officer, I'm sorry, I'm glad you said that, bro. <laughs> Christians always do that. They refer to, like, they got their own God. They got uh-huh. their own God. It's their God. own God, bro. Growing up, I always seen Christians always do that. Yep. My God, the God I serve. Uh-huh. Like, bro, it's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not my Jesus. Right. right. Not my Jesus. Right. Yeah. right. And the reason they say that is because they know the God of the Bible doesn't condone that. Exactly. That's why they say that. Exactly. That's why, that's why they'll leave the Bible closed. Mm-hmm. That's why that they believe, once again, in an in a idol. But they'll use the word God for their idol as if, like you said, Officer Joshua, is talking about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm-hmm. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, oh, no, 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 no. That's the one and only true God. That's right. And death is the only thing that awaits you when you think that way. Come on. They are marked by arrogance. I am God Almighty. They have godless character. She can still twerk for the Lord. They are lovers of Stop, mind. stop. Was that T.D. T- T- Snakes again? T- yes, sir. She can still T- twerk for T- the T- Lord. T.D. T- Shakes. T.D. Shakes. Swallowed. 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 Hey, hey, real quick. Um, just with what he was just saying with that first point, uh, Romans 16 and 18, real quick, officer, uh, just going back to all this thing that they're saying, this whole doctrine, all that stuff right there, uh, the God that I serve. Romans 16, 18. The book of Romans, chapter 16 and verse 18. Uh-huh. Look, it's a precept. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus right. Christ. They don't serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Read. But their own belly. Their own belly, their own lust, their own desires. That's their God. That's who they serve. What's inside of them, their own lasciviousness. Finish it. And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple. And that's what they're doing. That's why they call them false teachers, because they are deceivers. Yes, sir. Can I get one on there? Real quick, on that, on that same point right there, go to Deuteronomy eleven sixteen. More energy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So... Watch this. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11 and verse 16. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived. And that's what happened to the Israelites who are into the, all of these other that's denominations. Right. Go ahead. And ye turn aside and serve other gods. They're serving other gods, right. not mm. the God of the Bible. Read. Right. And worship them. And they worship them. So that's what you see when they say, my God, or God did this for me, God blessing me. Right. Whatever they saying, the God that they're talking about ain't the God of the Bible. That's right. right. Hey, play that. 
They have godless character. She can still twerk for the Lord. They're lovers of money. Every time you give, God knows how to repay you. They manipulate you. He taught my hope of how many. You can do it faster than that if I had a gun in your room to do it faster. Wow. They oppose the truth. So people don't go to hell for sin. They itch people's ears. So it's not a sin in your church to have an abortion? Hey, pause that. Pause that. If you were spiritual, if you were studied and you understand these scriptures, there's a scripture popping up for each hey, false yep. doctrine. Yep. Where it's like, stop the video. Yep. Stop the video right there. We all want to pull precepts. <laughs> yes, sir. We Crazy all want to stop yes, the video sir. and pull precepts Crazy that our leadership have taught us because they use the mouth of the Lord. Right. When they Not for an hour. Don't let nothing slide. When it comes to these scriptures, right, right, don't let right. nothing slide. We gonna, hey, we we defenders of the gospel. So like you said, right. it's, it's a fire in us that want to just, right. ah, hey, give me that precept. Right, let's <laughs> you know let's do 10 quick precepts for this video. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling let's you go that. back, run it from the beginning. Let's go. All right, and then get ready to pause it. Here are 10 signs of a false teacher. They will teach false doctrine. Pause. <laughs> Proverbs 4 and 2. Yep. Let's go. That's the doctrine, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. God I serve doesn't care whether you're gay. They are go marked ahead. by. Go ahead, Austin Rams. What you got? She said the God I serve doesn't care if you're gay. Oh, uh, you got Romans 1, 20, uh, 25 on down. Right. Leviticus, uh, what is that? 18. Uh, 18 to uh, 22. Deuteronomy 23, 17. Yep. Yep. Bring it out. Play on. They are marked by arrogance. I am God. Pause. I They're marked by arrogance. What's that? Proverbs. First. Uh, First Samuel two and three. Two and three. Mm. three. Yup, that's a good one right there. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep, but I think it's sixteen and ten where it says pride come before destruction. Mm. Mm. And that's in Sirach ten. Yep. There you yep. go. Come on. They have godless character. She can still twerk for the Lord. Pause. She can still twerk for the Lord. What is that? Abstain from the appearance of all evil. Abstain from the appearance of all evil. Titus 2, you got to be discreet, chaste, modest. First Timothy 5. First Timothy 5. First Timothy 2. Come on. Lovers of money. Every time you give, God knows how to repay you. First Timothy 6. Proceed. 20. Joshua 1 and 8. There you go. Micah 3 and 11 where they preach they 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 preach for hire. Right. Go ahead. They manipulate you. He come on, hope of how many. You can do oh, it faster. Oh, speaking in tongues, that's yeah, like Acts 2. Acts 2, Acts 2 Isaiah 28 and 11. 14, 11. Yeah. First Corinthians 14, 21. First Corinthians 14, where it's talking about a different language. It's not right. talking about glossolalia, that garbage right. that he's uttering don't mean nothing. Right. Come on. And that if I had a gun in your room to do it faster. They oppose the truth. <laughs> so people don't go to hell for sin. Pause. There's Romans, Romans 6, 23. 23. Romans 6, 25. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Man. Come on bro. He, call, he got the nerve, the audacity, <laughs> call yourself a pastor. Come on, I'm telling you. No Bible. They itch people's ears. So it's Where's not that scripture? Where it talks about they have itching ears. She was at Peter's? I, no, no, it's in Timothy. Timothy, y'all. Press play. Ears. So it's not a sin in your church to have an abortion? Pause. Pause. It's not a sin in your church to have an abortion. Yeah. An abortion. Leviticus 18, 20. There you go. Sacrifice. They sacrifice right. their children. Right. We're doing the same thing. 19 million black yeah. babies dead since that's, 1973. Bro, that's dangerous, bro. These, I'm telling you, Christianity is the most dangerous Can I tell religion, you yo. 19 million black babies since 1973. Mm. You know that's... In, in Puerto Rico, there's not like three million people only live on that island. Right. Say, officer, that's more than some, that's more than many that's, countries. That's a few islands of nations of people that right. wouldn't even exist today. Right. That don't exist today. That, that, yeah, that don't exist. That's only from the black they woman. Killed off, they're killing off their whole race. Right. Because, and they're going to the white man to plant parenthood and all these other. Wow! And where is it at? In the hoods, yeah. in the projects, yeah. in the yeah. traps. Yeah. Right. While we yeah. twerking and all that mm -hmm. on Juneteenth. And Fiesta yep. and Mardi Gras and Carnival. Yep, sisters popping Plan B pills like Skittles. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Syphilis and gonorrhea shots. I think Go it ahead. was one video a sister said I had like nine abortions. Oh, man. Uterus all jacked up. If it's even, if that's what you want to call it, a uterus, thing more like a Panama Canal. <laughs> Go ahead. To their own conviction. They deny basic doctrine. God the there Father is. is a triune being by himself. Oh, that's not true. The Most right. High God has his son, his army. You got you got the sons of God, the Israelites. Right. Right. So he's yep. not by himself. Colossians 3 and 1, you read where Christ sits on the right hand side of the Father. Oh, right. right. What is Genesis he? This is supposed to be Benny Hinn. This guy's a, he's a Persian. He's an East Indian. He don't know the Bible. Artaxerxes looking at Artaxerxes. Yeah, that's Ahasuerus. Regenerated. Come on.
There's nine of them. They grieve the Holy Spirit. Who was the biggest loser? God. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Yeah, that dude crazy, bro. Dude, bro what? That he going to disintegrate. <laughs> he going to get disintegrated. He almost there. Uh, he going to get disintegrated. There, that nuke going to disintegrate him. He evil as hell. Who was and the they biggest? teach another gospel. Confío en Buda. Creo en Dios. Allah. Todos somos hijos de Dios. Oh, so they four. Four. Yeah, uh, four. Four. But, before, but before that, he said, he said, uh, Muslim and Buddhist yeah. Psalms. What's that? Ninety-six and five. All the other idols, all the other gods yeah, of the nations are idols. That's yep. right. And then you said which one? Ephesians. Ephesians four is only one four, God. Verse bro. five. One faith. There you go, man. One we baptism. can't leave yeah, no right. stone uncovered, man. Let's go. They're all liars. We can prove the scriptures from the spirit in Christ that was going, that was that was uh, trickling down to the bishops, the deacons, and the captains to build us up to be able to destroy every wind of doctrine Any from doctrine. these false prophets, these false pastors. All Bro right? Let's go back to that article. Read what you got. Mm -hmm. In the face of criticism, community leaders have said people do not understand their customs and traditions. The legal minimum age to get married in Ghana is 18, and the prevalence of child marriage has declined, but it continues to happen. According to the global campaigning... Now, you can stop right there. So we touched that. Play this uh, video next, IT, before we go to commercial break. Play this real quick. I'm going to tag it real quick. And while they get in that, officer, just like I said in Jeremiah 14, uh -huh. verse 2, Says the gates thereof language. He said community leaders. Right. There you go. Was right. condoning this. There you go. So to show you like we ain't got no leaders. Right. Our right. Do not have and not only that, well, I don't want to give it away because I want to do a class on it. But go ahead. Play this next video. Yup. Your Can Bible humpers. Man who posed as a pastor at black churches had ten wives. And I say this. So there's a guy. He calls himself a pastor, a man of God. He has 10 wives. He's been lying to everybody. Put it up full mass. This individual posed as a pastor. He would specifically target black churches and black women. Orlando Coleman, this is according to the allegation, a man accused of serial bigamy in Houston. Damn, he called his serial posed as a bigamy. pastor. Um, sometimes he would pose as a bishop, um, get, gave himself a promotion. He would go to small black hey, pause churches. It, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Picture, yes, because you're seeing the same thing in the Israelite community now. You would have brothers that come up in here, learn up under the bishops, the deacons, for a year or two, and leave. Bring it out. And start their own thing and call themselves a bishop. Right. Call themselves deacons. Or elders. Or elders. Right. Bruh. With no understanding, and they end up doing stuff like this. Yep. We feel bad for the souls that follow these brothers, man, that leave up out of here doing this dumb stuff like this. Right. This dude, a self-proclaimed bishop. A self-proclaimed bishop, self-proclaimed. They give themselves fancy titles. Titles, all these. Uh, uh, no uh, works deacons, behind it. Deacons of a thousand, yep. and, and, my, and, and they got one man reading for them. <laughs> Where are your thousand men? Where this is are you? crazy, your... man. This, and we see because this is the Christian church, but we've seen this in the black Hebrew right. Israelite community now. And the, the reason, same thing is and, happening. The, and that's one of the reasons why they left is because they no longer wanted to fight. Yep. It's and, not and they that hate order it's not that they hate order. It's not that they it's not that they disagreed. It's just they knew that with IUIC, you are going to it requires discipline. Yep. You're gonna have to have discipline. You're gonna have to seek counsel. We're gonna we're gonna help you fight, but they was like, you know what? Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, separate myself, justify yep. myself by this trial or this tribulation, and smoke screen it because mm -hmm. it'd be about some completely different. Oh, yep. he disrespected me, but then all of a sudden, what that got to do with you now believing in ten wives? Nothing. Now that you left, what that got you believing with now you you going back to smoking weed? Because all of that was always a smoke screen. You just wanted to leave. Yes, you it was in remember them. where it says in First John, those had you continued with us, you would have been of us. Right. They was never with us. Right. They had never overcame. Mm -hmm. They never they they was never fighting. You gotta continue to fight. You gotta swing. Uh Deacon Abiel, shout out to Deacon Abiel. He said that yesterday yep. yes, sir. after the, the Fiesta Blitz. Blitz. He was yep. like, brothers, y'all better be right. Y'all better be swinging. Right. Meaning that y'all better be fasting, seeking counsel getting help, right. confessing, whatever it is, so that we can help you. 
I was like, that's a heavy point you said, like, they cannot be upset because we, we, we swinging. The, the leadership is swinging for us, right? So we got to do our part. That's right. And we got to swing with him. Right. We got to swing with him, man. Go ahead, Officer Joshua. I was going to say, there's no difference between him or even the men we were just speaking of in the Hebrew Israelite community in them Christian pastors. They both doing the same thing. Same. Same it's thing. It's the same people. people. Right. Hey, you shout out to Officer Enos. <laughs> Right. You, they don't believe, right? And they just want to fulfill their own lust. So they they go they know that all those things will get called out right here. Right. They don't want the discipline here. So where they go, go do their own thing and live in their convictions, just right. like these Christian pastors. Hey, read that uh off Salahu, Matthew 19 and verse 4. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 4. Let's go. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read? That he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. He made a male and female. Watch this. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother uh -huh. and shall cleave to his wife. No, no, no. It says wives. And shall cleave to his wife. You sure you read? Are you reading that correctly? Shall cleave to his wife. You understand? So where was multiple wives at? Even That's when right. off notice any time the forefathers like King David Solomon or any of them had multiple wives, it didn't work out for them. Mm -hmm. They was in the midst of idolatry. It was always mm -hmm. because Deuteronomy 17 said, thou shalt not multiply wives. Right. A king shall not multiply wives. Yes, sir. Right. When, when, the Bible, when you read that Christ was the king of kings, who are those kings? The black man, the so-called Hispanic man. Right. We are those kings and we are not allowed to multiply wives. Yes, right. sir. Christ is letting you know from the beginning we read about who? Adam and Eve. Right. And from the beginning, a man shall leave his family and, and cleave unto his, his wife. wife. Right. Singular, right. not plural. All right? Yes, Keep reading. And they twain. And they, and they three. And they twain. And they four. They twain. They five. They twain. They ten wives. They twain shall be one flesh. It says they two. They, them two together right. are going to be one flesh. Flesh. Right. Not them ten. All right. Can I can I back you up on that? Yeah, go So ahead. Christ said that. Now give me that in um uh second Peter chapter two and verse one. Duck, it's a precept. It's a precept going into what they should be doing, what the officer read, but watch what they doing. Watch this. The sec the book of Second Peter, chapter two and verse one. Uh huh. Read it out. And there were false prophets. That ain't say and there were. But there were false prophets also among the people, uh -huh. even as there shall be false teachers among you. You see that? That's what we see right there, those false pastors and false teachers. Come on. Who privily shall bring in damnable heresy, uh -huh. even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And that's what's going to happen to that brother and all those false prophets. And all those uh, Bible, th Bible right. humpers. Right. So he's all a certified Bible, Bible humper. Certified Bible humper. Certified. Bro, certified. They've been stamped. Hey, yep. Damn, man. All right, what certified. we got off the road? Uh, commercial, yep, commercial break. So, Israel, uh, stay tuned. All right, we'll be back with a commercial break. All right, go ahead, Officer Les, take it. So, hey, don't go nowhere. We coming right back, yep. all right? Is that I'm Officer Les? Officer Razzis. Officer Micah. Officer Asa Hill. Officer Cadillac. Officer Joshua. And with that, we make up. WCO! Stay tuned. You are now flying. Southwest! First and foremost, I want to thank you for opening my eyes. You introduced me to the truth. It caught me by surprise. I thought I always followed you. The things I did, the things I said, it showed I hated you. I broke the promise that I made with you. And I had murmured hurtful things about your love. I didn't know that you were at my door. And that's when I realized, here come the afflictions, all of my addictions. The reason you are hurting me, cause all of my infirmities, sin and just made things worse. Until I read your word, I found that I was cursed. Oh yeah, I'm in this situation cause my transgressions, as soon as I repent and make a confession, until then I Turning from my ways, you won't return to me, oh Lord, and 
Till I see your face This is why I say Reverse the curse Oh, oh yeah I'm sorry, Lord The pressure from this world Had me stuck between My light was very dim I couldn't see clip Without the beam, I was cruising down the road, trapped in sorrows for 30 hollows. Until you showed me I was better like the bait and iPhones. Felt like an android, how robotic I was with bad intel. Just seeing myself through this window, computing myself, fixing errors. And I realized it was all the descendant that had programmed that corrupted data. That's what, that's when I finally listened. And then I start repenting. And then I start facing the east and started fasting with it. And then I start studying me cause all my thoughts are wicked. And I can see the nigga. I got the picture. I see the vision, see the devil when I start to slip it. Hit my brother, go through scriptures cause these tribes could kill you. Don't need no other. Got most high God on my side while I'm killing off all my pride. Don't want to be rebel, pay mind in the midst of a holy fire. So I pray that the most high God give me time for me to get right. Damn. situation cause my transgressions as soon as I repent and make a confession until then I remain cursed Ooh, I'm turning from my ways you won't return to me oh lord until I seek your face this is why I say yeah, yeah, reverse the curse Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no count of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. And they repenting and groaning for an anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he, whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness, and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of God, and his lot is among the saints? Behold, the days come, when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the signs shall happen which I showed thee before, and then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawst as a man ascending. And when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land lead the battle they have won against another. And an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together, as thou sawest them, willing to come, and to overcome him by fighting. But I beheld, and, lo, he had graved himself a great mountain, and flew up upon it. But I would have seen the region or place whereout the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, and, lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet durst fight. And, lo, as he saw the violence,
Mike, 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 Mike. We back, we yes, back. Sir. That's right. right. All praise. We're going to get right Check. back into it, man. Well, first, let's give a, a few shout outs. Yes, sir. All praise for the Most High God in Christ, right. the Black Messiah. Shout out to the Bishop, Bishop right. Emmanuel, That's right. Bishop right. Yawasap, Bishop Kana, right. the deacons, the captains, hey. the officers, soldiers, men, women, and children. We appreciate y'all, man. That's right. All praise to the Most High. I'm Officer Les. Officer Razzle. Officer Micah. Officer As Hell. Officer Get Alive. Officer Joshua. And with that, we make up we the WCO. WCO. Hey, man, they, they just told you. They told you, you know what I'm saying? They I know, told I was, us. I was giving y'all time, you know? Hey, look. All praise. It's all good, man. Work, it's all him. good. You're good, man. All right, so where we at? All right, so can we pull back the thumbnail up? Can we pull it back up? All right. Bible humpers and Bible thumpers. thumpers. Thumping, boy. We about to show y'all. We did. We 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 covered that. We covered yeah, the we, first. Yeah, we covered the humpers. So now we on the thumpers. Yeah, now we dealing with the thumpers. So thumpers is what? Fighters, squabblers, squat, but more, scrappers, scrappers. But how the hypocrisy? How you gonna scrap? But you got a Bible. There you go. And the hypocrisy of these nations because Amalek holds the Bible, right? Uh huh. And these Christians hold the Bible, and they say that God is all love, love for everyone. But they killing the Palestinians. They bombing Iran, right. they so, bombing Syria, and, they're doing uh, all on, this destruction. They, they doing all this hatred, but they say anti-Semitism. But is anti what? Ah, there you go. Hold also. on, though. But anti so it's okay when y'all hate people and y'all killing them and slaughtering them right. by the thousands, but when somebody just says something about you, right. it's a like you're not a real Jew, you, yep. you know what? I'm the enemy. Yep. I, right. didn't, I, didn't, right. I don't have a gun. Mm -hmm. I don't have a knife. Right. I don't have a missile. I don't have a nuke. But I deserve to die. Right. You're the one killing everybody, slaughtering everybody. But right. we're the enemy. We're the enemy. Yep. You know, we're you know the, what? and not only that, we're we're the we're the we're the threat. Yes. Right. right. How am I a threat? Yep. Because right. of my words. You right. know what they're doing? They reversing it because God loves us. Yep. Because God loves us. They trying to make it. That they put all that anti the wordplay yep. everything to make it seem like God loved them. Right. That's what exactly. they're doing is yep. wordplay. Officer Micah. I'm telling the white man is the damn devil the Bible yes, speaks. Sir. The Bible. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, man. Go yes, ahead, sir. Uh, uh, Deacon Ithon said that. He said, man, you read about the, the mighty prophets in the Bible, King David, uh, Judah Maccabees, right. all the warriors in the Bible, and they claim to be these people. So how are words so effective? How right, do you right. get so emotional right. off of words? Not the guy. Look how just reading the Bible. behind words. Just reading the Bible. Yep. Look how they did her behind words. Exactly. Mm. All right, so, so where we at? Uh, let's pull up the first video. Not that, IT. The video. I wow. tagged you in the video. Come on, Hey, give IT. me that real quick while we waiting. Give me that in Galatians chapter 3 or 4 and 16. Let's I think go! Galatians 4, 16. Yes, sir. Hey, look, look y'all. We are not the threat. <laughs> The person y'all need to be worried about is the black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. That's right. That's who y'all need to be worried about. Because we can't do anything. This this fight ain't ain't carnal. Our spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Sport this spiritual warfare, not by might, by by my, my, my power. Yep. We ain't got no guns. We ain't got None no nukes. None of that. Why are y'all worried about us? Because y'all know when we start to serve our Savior, the way He says mm -hmm. is supposed to be served. You already know that's when we gonna activate the Messiah. That's they, right. Bishop Kana was talking to me about that. He went over that those scriptures with us over the weekend, where the kingdom of heaven is in us. We got to do the work. We right. got to activate Christ. And right. that's what they don't want us to do. Mm -hmm. That lets you know why y'all afraid of our God. You know, it's funny you say that, officer, because I was watching, what was I, I think I was watching some sci-fi movie the other day. And I noticed in all the sci-fi movies, uh -huh. every time they try to, you know, band the whole world together to fight the enemy, it's like if they take out this one main ship, all the rest of them fall, man. So I guess they always trying to program the people. We got to kill that Christ, man. Because if we kill that Christ, then all that nation of Israel is going to fall, yeah, man. You go. Just right. to add to that point with that sci-fi movie, you notice how whatever it's a creature or an alien, it's always black. Right. The creature or the alien is always a black or a dark figure. Right. Yep. right. I'm like, yo. We just saw a civil war. And all the black people died. The first dude that died, yes. All the black the people, first he got dude. burnt alive. Yep. No, but the first dude that was with the gunners. Yeah, he got shot. Oh, yeah. He got, he got shot. Letting you know that Jake ain't, that's what they told you. The Jake ain't making it. ain't built for this. Right. That and Civil War, and, Jake, you ain't built for this. And if anybody's black and is going to make it and be the hero, it's going to be the black woman. Yes. Right. <laughs> that's, yes. What, that's, what that's what I saw. That's what I saw. It's going to be the black saw. woman. No. The black woman was laying people right. down, bro. She was a lieutenant. I got the lieutenant. Three or three. 
telling you, boy. She wow. was laying people down, bro. Wow. All right, let's play that. Let's play this. To you, says our holy Bible, and we do. You must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our holy Bible, and we do remember, and we are fighting our brave troops and combatants who are now in Gaza or around Gaza and in all other regions in Israel. Stop, 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 stop. Did this Amalekite just say? Yes. You must remember what Amalek did to you? Yes. Man. This he is, just said, you You must remember what I just did to you? Yep. Is that what he just said? Yep. yep. Because this, isn't he Amalek? Yes, you sir. Go. And also right. this goes because the, if, if he was Israel, wouldn't he call himself an Israelite? There you go. He's an Israeli, which right. means you're just a land of Israel. Right. right. You're, you're from the land there. You're a citizen. Yep. Right. So he just called another nation Amalek, his his nationality. Right. Whoa, Why would he do that? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Why would he do that, Officer Raz? Because this goes into the Bible thumpers. I'm this trying is the to understand this what's is, going this on. This is the Bible thumper right here. This is how right. they, they right. use the Bible to Bible justify. Bible gangsters. Yep. Bible gangsters. Give me that, man. Give me that in, in, in Exodus. <laughs> Exodus 17, verse 16. Because this is what he's quoting. This is how he's trying to judge. This is why. And remember, Bishop Nathaniel brought this out already. We just, we got to bring it back. Because when we are out there teaching on the street, we ask people, what's going on on the news right now? I don't know. But, I, but yeah, Di I know That's about Diddy. Diddy. I know That's about uh, Drake and who's uh, 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 Kendrick. Ken Kendrick Lamar. I know about that. But you ask them, what's going on in the news right now? They don't know. They don't know. This is why we got to keep bringing this stuff out again. This is why he's justifying killing the Palestinians. Watch this. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 17 and verse 16. For he said, because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek. From generation to generation. So they calling the Palestinians Amalek and they're using that to justify them going to war with them. War for generation to generation. Amalek was supposed to be cut off. This is why they're going so hard and trying to push the narrative that mm -hmm. the Palestinians, those in Gaza, are Amalek. Right. But again, like we always say, we are on nobody's side. We don't give a damn about the Palestinians or right. the Israelis. We're so, on God's side. But he just tried to call the Ishmaelites yes. Amalek. Amalek. Yep. Right. Can we get Genesis 36 and 12? Can we read that real quick? The book of Genesis, chapter 36 and verse 12. And Timnah was concubine to Eliphaz, Esau's son. Who? Esau's son. Read. And she bare to Eliphaz, Amalek. These were the sons of Adah, Esau's wife. So hold on now. Isn't Amalek Esau? Right. Yes. Yes. Yep. But who's Esau? The white. The That's the so-called white, white man. man. Yep. And what is uh, nigga Yahoo? What is his nationality? Yeah. President nigga Yahoo. Israeli, so-called Israeli. They're they're Amalek. They're, Amalek. They're so-called white. Yep. Yes. Right. That's why they have an allegiance to who? To America. Yes, sir. Their white counterpart. Okay? So you are from the lineage of Esau and you are Amalek. Amalek is the one today right. calling themselves Jewish. Right. Mm -hmm. When the hell did the when the hell did the Arabs start calling themselves Amalek or Jewish? Right. Never. That's a setup. They See? know they know they're Ishmael. Right. Because there's a nation out there saying what? Saying that they're the real Jews. Right. Exactly. Isn't that what he calls himself? Yes, Revelations sir. 2 and 9. Two and nine. Yes, sir. Revelations 2 and 9. That's what he calls himself. He's Jewish. Is from it's Israel, right? Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty. Come on. But thou art rich. But we are rich. He's talking about us right there. Watch right. this. And I know. Hold the, on, but I know somebody else that's running game on you. The blasphemy. The what? The blasphemy. That's a blatant lie. The blatant lie. Just like it was a blatant lie for him to call Arabs Amalek. Right. When Arabs derive from Ishmael. Right. Read. Of them which say they are Jews. Who says that they're the, they're the Jews today? These Jewish people. They call that's themselves right. Jewish. And what does Ish mean? Not exactly. If somebody says, right. hey, I got, a, I got a homeboy. He's, uh, he's Dominican, but he act blackish. He not, he not African-American black, but you understand what it means. He acts like someone that's of a different race. Right. So when they acting Jewish, they're acting like they're the Jews when they're not. Right. Come on. Right. And or not. And what? And or not. And? Come on. But all the synagogue of Satan. Because Esau is the damn devil the Bible speaks of. And that's where they come from. Watch this now, officer, because you just pulled that precept, right? Hey, IT, pull the video up.
I just sent you, put a video up. This was a few years back, but watch. They spirit bear witness with what the mm -hmm. what Revelations 2 and 9. Play that. Mr. President, thank you for those kind words. And thank you, too, for that strong speech yesterday. Uh, and I want to thank you also for the uh, warm hospitality that you've shown me and my delegation. The uh, alliance between our two countries is deeply appreciated uh, by me and by everyone in Israel. And I think that, as you said, when Americans look around the Middle East today, they see one reliable, stable, faithful ally of the United States. And that's the democracy of Israel. Americans know that Israel and the United States share common values, that we defend common interests, that we face common enemies. Iran leaders know that too. You know, for them, you're the great Satan, we're the little Satan. For them, we are you and you're us. Pause, pause. So he said, Iran says, they, America's the great Satan and we're the little Satan. Right. They understand this, man. Yep. Yeah. They know what their spirit bear witness. They all say they say it themselves. Right. They know this. I, I, the honestly, other nations know it. I don't know what the other nations fear more in regards to uh, attacking America. I don't know if they fear that America is a great power and they would be in a full-blown war or them knowing that America has the children of Israel and that's also going to activate the black Messiah mm. and they might not want no smoke with him. Right. Yeah, the right. the other nations understand. If you understand who spiritual Satan is, you understand. Because who was it that said it before they, they got executed? Uh, Nassim Gazer or something. The, the one that got a... Uh, he said the Jews left black and Germany. came back right. white. Right. 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 Remember that? Mm -hmm. So they understand that we are the real Jews over right. here. Right. So they're like, okay, we attack them. We we're gonna be attacking God's God's people. So the other nations are they they got a little bit of sense up there to understand like, okay, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna blow the lid off this thing. Yep. And, and that's with Putin too. There you go, Austin. Bring, bring it out. out. Now bring it out, Austin. Too. Go ahead. Go ahead. Cool. He's revealing cool. who the children of Israel are. All there of those pictures go. and everything. Right. Right. Because he really he really want America. There but he's waiting go. on them to make a move. So he's just yeah. but he's like, damn, if I if I yeah. kill them, I'm gonna be killing God's people too. Right. Mm. So he want America to make a move. Yep. And he's gonna stir the pot by by him bringing out that. The Jews are black, the and images. we are the children of God. Is yeah. gonna cause confusion here in America, in the right. states. They know that, right? So he gonna stir the pot. Eventually, I'm telling you, something's gonna happen. It's only. It's not a matter of if. It's so a matter of when. when. Because go. the Bible already prophesied it yep. that it has to happen. It's going to happen. But what are people doing out there? Carnival, fiesta, yep, fiesta, right. Mardi Gras, right? Hey, also, can Bible you, humping. Can, can you explain the fiesta? Because we were just out there, right? Right. And when we was going over the history with uh, Deacon Abiel, uh, uh -huh. Captain Hoshia, Bishop Kanai brought it out to us before as well. Right. How um, them celebrating the fiesta, right? Can we pull up pictures of fiesta in San Antonio? Yes. Pull up the, uh, uh, the pictures. What they're celebrating, they're celebrating the destruction of their own people, uh -huh. right? The Battle of Alamo. Right. How Texas got the independence from Mexico. And right. you have Mexicans celebrating that so stuff. So war is on the brink, and they're partying about their own destruction. destruction. Right. That's they're partying their own destruction. Give me wisdom, and, Solomon. And, officer, uh -huh. they don't even know what the fiesta is. Half of them, are, I'm telling you, they just, they are two and verse seven. Right. Put that on the screen. Come on, start with verse one. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 1. Scroll back up. Scroll back up. Leave it right there. Come on. For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves. This is what the ungodly of our people do. They reason with themselves, meaning they counsel with their own hearts. They're not looking after God. They're like, well, my God says, come as I am. My God says I can celebrate carnival and the right. destruction of my own people. Come on. But not a right. But not a right. They're not... They, 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 they're idiots. These are the same people that have PhDs, uh, doc, doctorates, and masters, and bachelors, and they, they went to white man college, and can't nobody teach them nothing. Right. Can't like nobody, PhD. especially that look like them, teach them anything or correct them. Come on. Our life is short and tedious. Uh -huh. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. They don't believe that they have to report to, the, to, to Christ. 
they think that when they die, that's it. So I might as well just live my life because there's no God. That's what, what the their actions this? show, that they don't believe in a God. Come on. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. You see that? They don't believe that Christ resurrected. They don't believe that. Be, that that's, it's obvious you don't believe that because you're screaming out YOLO. You don't believe that there's going to be a judgment, right? Jump to verse 7. Verse 7. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine. You hear it? That's what they do. Let's go get drunk. Let's go right. party. Let's right. go fiesta. Right. Come on. And ointments. And let no flower of the spring pass by us. You see that? Because it's getting hot outside. It's summertime. It's it, what they call it, hot girl summer. It's spring break. Come on. Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds. What did they do? Crown ourselves Cold. with rosebuds. Look at those pictures. Right. What did they do? Crown ourselves with rosebuds. All it was like ninety percent of the women out there had those rosebuds on. Oh, so that's a hundred percent. A hundred percent. hundred percent. They all had it they on. All, right. They all. In the, the midst of idolatry. The brother was selling them. They yep. were selling them like hotcakes. Right. Buying and selling on the Sabbath. They said, "Let us crown ourselves with rosebuds." Come on. Before they be withered. You let, see that? Come on. Let none of us go without his part. Of now, hold on. Now, this, I asked Bishop schooled me on this because I was like, what is, what is that really going into? And he said that's going into the same celebration that we did during the Greek Empire that was known as Bacchanal. Yep. Carnival, which he pulled 2 Maccabees. Let's read it. 6 and verse 7, I believe. Stop. It's a precept. 2 Maccabees 6 and 7. Read what you got. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh huh. And in the day of the king's birth every month, they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. Come on, this is when they were forcing us into, the, into their pagan, paganism. Where This was the Hellenistic period. We were being forced into their idolatry. Come on. And when the feast of Bacchus was... What? The feast of Bacchus. Bacchus is also known as... Bacchanal, also known as Carnival, which is Carnival, also known as Mardi Gras, also known as Fiesta. They, it's the same spirit. It's all the same thing. Read. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled. They to, was what? The Jews were compelled. We were forced to go in procession to Bacchus carrying ivy. Carrying what? Ivy. Carrying ivy. That's why you see like... Um, when you look at pictures of Caesar, you see him with an ivy crown. Right, right, right. You see That's a lot right. of them wear those the, those crowns that have ivy because that ivy represents, go back to Wisdom of Solomon uh, 2 and 7. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine. Where does wine come from? From grapes. From grapes, from vines. You see what I'm saying? So that's what it all goes in conjunction with. It's all symbolic of alcohol and, and being and being drunkards. Right. So you know what comes next with that spirit officer Luz? With the alcohol and the drunkard. Pull up the article we just sent, IT. We're dealing with Fiesta. Pull up this when we left, this is what happened. When we left uh Fiesta. Uh-huh. Pull that up. Brothers was prophesying, brothers was bringing uh, it out. Brothers was letting them feeling. know. I had a feeling this yep. would happen. Death was in the air. They was letting them know this was brothers was prophesying. Brothers was in the spirit. They was giving them warning like the scripture says in Ezekiel. Prophesy, warn the people. And, and this is what happened. Read that, officer. San Antonio Police Department. Two dead, four injured in Market Square shooting. Scroll down. Let's read a little bit about that. Oh, wait, hold up. What happened? The streets are empty. The streets are empty now. What happened? Right. What happened? Let's see what bodies happened. Bodies were dropping. Bodies was dropping. Yup. Read that. A shooting in San Antonio's historic Market Square interrupted the city's annual fiesta celebration overnight, causing people to take cover as police responded quickly. There you go. There you go. Give me Proverbs 13 and 21 while you're looking for that. Yep. Read that. Because if you're a part of fiesta, that makes you an evildoer. That makes you right. ungodly. That makes you a sinner. So whenever you're partaking in things that are not biblical and you're partaking in the traditions of men, you are in sin. And what happens to people that's in sin? Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 21. Let's go. Evil pursue a sinner. That's why them bullets was chasing your behind. <laughs> That's why you had other people getting shot. Right. That's why death was following. Yep. Because that evil's going to pursue you, even though you're like, well, I didn't come out. I wasn't. Yeah, but you're in sin. in sin. 
You're out there celebrating the traditions of men, right. and you brought your kids out there. And you're lucky that one, one, one of them didn't hit one of your children. Right. You're lucky it didn't hit your wife, your husband, your family. Come on. Evil pursue a sinner, uh -huh. but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. They were in sin. It was a Sabbath day. What are we out there looking crazy, yep. buying and selling and twerking and immodest and getting All drunk early? Yep. Right. What are we doing? Right. But then we think God loves us. Exactly. We think God loves everything. Come yep. as we are. Go right. ahead, also. And this is a part of wrath, the wrath of God. Can right. I get a preset real quick? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, give me uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12. Yes, so this is a part sir. of his wrath that come up on the sinners. Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 12. Then said the Lord unto me, thou hast well seen. So God showed him a vision, just like the prophets, like, hey, something going to happen out here. Yep. Same thing the prophets are saying. Mm -hmm. Come on. For I will hasten my word to perform. So he's going to make it happen. It's going to come to pass, read. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, uh -huh. What seest thou? Uh -huh. And I said, I see a seed in pot, uh -huh. and the face thereof is toward the north. Toward where? The north. All right. We know where the north is. Come on. Uh -huh. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north, and evil shall break forth. A uh, what? And evil shall break and forth. And that's what we see right there. That killing, that dying, that death. A uh, evil that had broke forth. Go ahead. Upon all the inhabitants of the land. And that's what happened. We don't know who, who is going to hit. What's going to happen when you go out there? People come from all over, and they yeah, not that's knowing right. if they're going to make it home. All right. Bring it out. All yeah. praises. Go back to that. Uh, all praises. Proverbs 13, one more time. Get that. Uh, Cause you know they did that big old march or whatever is it a parade or whatever down there, right? Mm -hmm. So read uh, the verse above that one. The book of Proverbs, chapter thirteen and verse twenty. Mm -hmm. He that walketh, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. So that's what you saw a bunch of wise men that were marching down there pushing the word of God. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be wise. You know why? They're gonna preach the word and they're gonna get out of there Facts. before that foolishness right. starts happening. But what happened to the rest of the people? Read. But a companion of fools. A what? Uh -oh. A companion of fools. Shall be destroyed. That's what happened. You're going to see souls get destroyed. Destruction. You stay yes. out there yes, in the sir. middle of the street doing that evil foolishness, celebrating your own destruction. Hey, <laughs> you going to get destroyed hey. for celebrating your own destruction. Hey, officer, hey, something bound to happen. You got bring people getting drunk and reveling yeah, right. and loud music right. and spirits going on. It's something spirits. bound to happen. Yep. Yeah. Dang, Watch yeah. this. Let's keep reading the article. Oh, it happens article. Article. every year. Right. Every year. It happens every every. They know, every they know what's going to happen. Yep. Pull up the article. Read on. San Antonio police chief William McManus said two young men opened fire at each other in the middle of a busy market square. The shooting happened just hours after the Fiesta Flambeau Parade, the nation's largest illuminated parade that attracts more than 750,000 people. So you have over 750,000 people. This is a big festival. A no, no, big... no. Hold on, Officer Razzles. There was over a million people at that thing, yeah, according so. to a different... Yeah. Source. Source? Yeah. I believe it. I because it yeah, it was it was huge, right? Read on. We have a very busy crime scene here. Hold we, on, hold on. Read that again. We have a very busy crime scene here. What does that mean? A lot of evil right. is happening yes. out here. Exactly. It ain't just so, even though we got this article that we're reading, there was a lot of evil yep. out there. Right. But yet you bringing your family out there. Right. They have a very busy crime scene. Them police, they was out there. They're literally out there standing with their hand on their hip, on their right. gun, just ready, right. looking around. Right. But they mm -hmm. they um, promote it for something to be entertaining, something mm -hmm. to be good, mm -hmm. even for the kids. Right. right. They Watch this. Oh, go ahead, Officer. No, nah, they, said, they said, let us celebrate our own destruction and applaud people dressed up like Spider-Man running down the right. street. street. Yeah, hey, we've seen, we seen one guy in cardboard, uh, big red soda pop. He had cardboard all over in a helmet like a cardboard. Foolery. Right. Foolishness. Foolery. Watch this. Go to Amos 3 and 6. Because at the end of the day, this is of the Lord. It's the Lord that put the spirit on Bring those two out. young men to do what they did and cause chaos, cause havoc. Because the Lord is not with this foolishness. Read that. Amos 3 and 6. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city mm -hmm. and the people not be afraid? So that trumpet was us. We was out there. We was warning the people. Right. We were telling them, hey, be afraid. Destruction's coming. Something's going to happen. Right. We're warning you. Right, Read. Shall there be evil? Shall there be what? Evil. Come on. In the city 
and the Lord have not done it. Should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it. Right. It's the Lord that's behind this stuff, man. Remember, the scripture says, I kill, I make that's alive. Right. I don't right. do all these things. Yep. Yep. Understand that. Go ahead, officer. I was going to say, can I get one more priest to back you up, officer? Yeah, Harry, yeah go, ahead, uh, go ahead. Yes, sir. Ezekiel 33, verse 33. Because this, this is what our people got to understand. When we out there, we not playing with y'all. When, when the word of God is coming out, it will come to pass. That's right. Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 33. Come on. And when this coming to pass. When all the things we telling y'all going to come to pass, uh, repent uh -huh. or die, stop sinning. You understand? The Lord ain't playing. Judgment will come. Right. Come on. Lo, it will come. Lo what? It will come. It will come. That's in parentheses. Most I mean that thing. Read. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what happened every single time we go out on that's the blitz. Right. That's right. right. Prophesy. As soon as we leave, it's Death. on and popping. Somebody right. die. Mm -hmm. Somebody die. Right Somebody get an STD. Go Death. Up. Murder. Natural disasters. Right. Storms. All that. All right. All that, all yeah, that right. happened right, right when we leave. Y'all know the prophets was among y'all, man. Yeah. Now it's all right. So hey, go. Let's. So that was a little segue. We had a little. We had. To, yeah. We had to bring it out, though. Yeah. We had to bring it out. But going back. But he to, got the nerve, he got man. The nerve, to call you. Palestinians Amalek. Yep. You're Amalek. <laughs> and your then, people are the Amalekites. Right. That's that and deflection. Gonna, yep. And we're gonna show the hypocrisy of America. Cause remember in the video, the other video we showed when uh uh the nigga Yahoo was sitting with Obama, <laughs> right? Right. We're going to show you the hypocrisy of America. Because remember, he said that they Satan. So my president, nigga, Yahoo. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Watch this. Play this. Concern about the PRC providing components that are powering we Russia's want it, brutal want war back. aggression. Make sure you're playing. I reiterated our serious concern about the PRC providing components that are powering Russia's brutal war of aggression against Ukraine. China's the top supplier of machine tools. Microelectronics, nitrocellulose, which is critical to making munitions and rocket propellants, and other dual-use items that Moscow is using to ramp up its defense industrial base. A defense industrial base that is churning out rockets, drones, tanks, and other weapons that President Putin is using to invade a sovereign country, to demolish its power grid and other civilian infrastructure, Pause that real quick. to kill innocent children. I just want to see the header. It says, Z wants to see more U.S. students in China. Now, that's a lot. That's what the U.S. wants. They want more sleeper cells in China. Go ahead. To kill innocent children, women, and men. That's what they're doing, killing Russia. innocent women, children, and men, right? Mm -hmm. Go that's ahead. Would struggle to sustain its assault on Ukraine without China's support. In my meetings with NATO allies earlier this month and with our G7 partners just last week, I heard that same message. Fueling Russia's defense industrial base not only threatens Ukrainian security, it threatens European So security. pause it. Yeah. So we got to break this down. We got to understand yeah. the hypocrisy of America. Yeah. They're complaining that China is funding Russia, right, to fight uh, uh, Ukraine. So America is going against They said, no, you got to stop funding uh, 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 Russia. China has to stop funding Russia because they're killing all those Ukrainians, yes, right? That's right. But what is America doing? Come on. Right. What is America doing? Funding Israel. Israel. Come Funding on, Israel. man. Hey, it's okay to to kill Browns. Yes. Just the, not the not the wise. Not the wise. Not the wise. Not the wise. Don't that's, kill no wise. That's what they saying. Well, that's what he's saying. Not, yeah. I was gonna say not only that, China supplies America. Come on, man. You know how many products, products in America that say go. made in China? Yep. Hey, it's it's called hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. You shut your bro. white mouth. I'm not kidding. So pull up the article that goes with this. I we just posted in the channel. To show how much money has America funded uh, Israel. USA to Israel in four charts. We're just going to read a uh, little bit of the first paragraph. The United States was the first country to recognize the provisional government of the state of Israel upon its founding in 1948. And it has for many decades been a strong and steady supporter of the Jewish state. Israel has received Hundreds of billions of dollars Bruh. in U.S. foreign aid. That's that's all I want right there, bro. Hundreds of billions. Hundreds billions. of billions dollars, bro. Wow. Aid. These people are the biggest hypocrites, man. Yo, I thought the United States was in And, and they re-up uh, annually. And they re-up annually. annually. 
This bill's being passed right now mm -hmm. to keep funding Israel, to keep funding the war over there. A, a point I wanted to touch earlier oh, yeah, when, you, when we were talking about um, the humpers and the thumpers or whatever, and we we're talking about how Amalek is a gang and they use the word of God. Well, guess what? All you Christians who support that Zionism, all you Christians who, let's, let's pray for Israel, right. you supporting genocide too. That's right. You That's doing right. the same thing. They supporting the slaughtering of the, the, of the Arabs. Exactly. Because they're killing all the Arabs right now. Right. Sir. So that means you're in cahoots and in conjunction with that. Right. Yeah. Where's your John 3.16? Right. What happened yeah. to John? <laughs> That's a good point. Where's your John 3.16? You know what I mean? That's what they're doing. They are supporting murder, slaughter, and serial killing. Yes, sir. That's what they're doing. They got the nerve to scream anti-Semitism. When your people are out there rob, uh, destroying and nuking the hell out of Gaza, Hamas, mm -hmm. and, and uh, Palestine. Right. But you saying anti-Semitism. Are you kidding me? Right. And then you're screaming anti-Semitism to people like us that are already Semitic. Right, right. I love Shem. I love my forefather Shem. Right. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's right. I love that that black man Shem. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't, it wasn't for him. Shem. Right. Shout out to Shem. Right. Hey, what shout, out out Shem. shout out to shout shout our forefather Shem. Shem. Right. right. For real. For real, though. It, it's just like you said, Officer Micah, it's that... that uh, the semantics right. and, that, and that word play, word play. calling yeah. a whole other nation that's not them Amalek when they're the Amalekites. Their politics. Calling us Gentiles when we, mm -hmm. we're the real Jews. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, I got to mark this, you up, I mean, bro, this bro, stuff man. is crazy. When you, when you are, like it says in Micah 2 and 1, they're doing these things because it's in the power of their hands. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why they're allowed to get away with this right. garbage and these lies and the people that believe it mm. because it's in the power of their hands. Hey, I just got to put a shout out to Shem Precept, bro. Go ahead. Hey, hey, real quick, go to Surat uh, 49 and 60. Bring they like it to out. Say we anti-Semitic. It's a precept. This is the precept for the anti-Semitic, man. Shout out to our forefather, Shem. That's right. Because we're, are we not Shemitic, y'all? Yes, we yes, are. Sir. Do we That's love right. Shem? Yes, yes sir. we do. All praise to the most high. Read that. The book of Surat, chapter 49 and verse 16. Read it out. Shem and Seth. We're in great honor among men. You hear what the Bible says? Shem and Seth were in great honor above men. So, yes, we're going to reverence. We're going to honor our forefather, Shem. That's, That's right. right. Understand that because we are Shemitic. We understand that. You can't pull that wool over our eyes, Esau. That's right. We get who we, we, we understand know who we, who we are. are. We know who you are. Exactly. Right. Read on. Devil. Shem <laughs> and Seth were in great honor among men. Uh-huh. And so was Adam above every living thing in the creation. Right. So play this video to the point Officer Les was bringing out, how the, the billions of dollars goes into the destruction of Ishmael over there. Officer Les. Yes. Hundreds. Hundred, oh, I'm sorry. Hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds. <laughs> Hamas. You know, you know, we just ate that popcorn. Got a scrumous. The hundred of us. Hamas. Hundreds. <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> Play that. Bible thumpers. Bro, that's schools, hospitals, hospitals yep. clinics. Hold man. on, where's where's the where's the anti-Semitism here? There you go. This is hatred, what we're seeing in Palestine. Mm -hmm. This is all hatred. Look at Are we anti-Semitic? You know there's children in there. Bro, you do elderly. You know? Bro, they demolished them, bro. Demolished. This, ain't this the pot calling the kettle black? Yup. <laughs> Real Bible you know, thumpers like, right here. Where are the war bases? You know, like, there, there's, there's something that kind of identifies what a, a battle zone looks like yep. or an entrenchment, a bunker. Right. You know, these are residential neighborhoods. Right, no, no, right. They're, they're using them as human shields. That's uh, oh, they, oh, right. That's, that's right. That's right. Oh, that's the, human that's meat shields. Yeah, yeah right. they don't exactly. hold up that well. <laughs> Telling you, man, these people look crazy. Wow, this is terrible. That, that, that almost looked like a path to carve out that little thing that they're trying to do, don't it? Well, hey, you say son, officer. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wow. That yeah, there's that, a whole nother agenda behind yeah, yeah. it. There's a whole. That's what I'm telling you. There, it, it, the reason for it is because there's a whole nother business or a chess move that they trying to they trying to put into perspective. Don't find that suspicious. Play that one more time. Go back to the video. <laughs> the destruction. Yeah, the sound bite. Yeah, that was the sound bite. Oh, sound bite. I'm with you, officer. Soundbite. I'm soundbite. with you. Soundbite. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Unit spirit, my bad. <laughs> Read that. Anti-Semitism will not be tolerated in Texas. Period. Governor says. Hey, real quick, I agree with the governor. Y'all better That's quit right. hating on us black right. Israelites. Bring it out. Us Stop hating on Israelites. Bring it Israelites. out. Right. For real, though. Y'all better quit hating on us. 
You know, because I'm a Semite. And I'm done with the hatred. We should be allowed to say That's whatever right. we want when we're on the streets. Right. As long as we're reading out of the Bible. Right. If the Bible says that God had, he hates gays in Leviticus, what's that, 18, 18 and 22? 22, 22. Yes, then, yeah. then we believe what God said. That's right. That was God's message to the Semites. We got to keep the laws. So, yeah, I agree with the governor here. Yep. And what's going on with <laughs> this, Officer Hilez, right? And, and brothers, if you. You, I pray y'all been watching the news online, right? If you see, there's a lot of uh, protests going on in these different schools. Mm -hmm. All throughout the nation. You colleges. Have, yep, colleges. They, yep, they uproar, protesting, yep. uproaring, fighting, and they, they locking them up. So this is why, especially you young brothers, you young brothers, you young sisters, stay out of that stuff. Y'all in college, don't get uh, uh, fooled by the propaganda, okay? You right. get all emotional and pray for Palestine, and you out there in the schools, and you get locked up behind That's this right. stuff. That's right. right. Stay out of these protests. They ain't got, because what are they doing? They out there, all they doing is applying, uh, they trying to, they're just, just falling victim of Lamentations 417. Right. You're calling on a nation that can't save, save you. you. Right. You're wasting your time. Yep. yep. So, and pull, pull it back up on the screen, the article. So, really what this, this is a, the smoke screen for coming after us, okay? Because once they start pushing these laws, and you know Texas is different, bro. They got this is the Lone Star State. They got their own rules. They be they be applying uh, laws before the laws even come out. Right. Right, right, right. So this is gonna be. You already know we gonna we gonna catch this. Brothers teaching on the street here in Texas. Yeah. We gonna catch the back the back end of this. Hey, and that's all hypocrisy. You know what hypocrisy rhymes with? Democracy. Mm. <laughs> now let's go hey, shout, shout out to the brother Sleep Dog. That's Sleep watching us. Damn. Hypocrisy and democracy. Yeah. That's hand exactly hand. what it is. Yep. Mm. And even if those like teachers and them the, the the presidents of the schools and things like that, if they don't speak out against it, then they gonna say you being anti semitic Now they losing yep. their jobs, man. There you go. This thing is crazy. Yeah, crazy. All right, let's read. These people really do run the world. Mm -hmm. The these protesters belong in jail, said Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Students joining in hate-filled anti-Semitic protests at any public college or university in Texas should be expelled. Now, the reason why they're pushing this propaganda is they're trying to prepare to push law so that they can outlaw the Israelites from teaching on the streets. Right. That's the true, that's the true right. agenda behind it. Yep. They see that we're getting stronger. They're afraid. They know that we're using the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to villainize us for teaching the Bible. And I'll, I'll Remember, they call, they, we once again, we are teaching, thus saith the Lord, what God right. says, mm -hmm. right. and they want to make that hate. Mm -hmm. There was somebody that said that right. to us yesterday. Oh, what you're teaching is hate. I'm like, I just read it out of the Bible. All I'm doing is reading the Bible. Right. I can't yep. teach the Bible. Mm -hmm. All these churches and so-called pastors, I can't teach the Bible. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's funny you said it, though. So yesterday as well, several accounts we heard that they was going around telling the police that there's some people... Uh, talking evil and uh, with their hands on their waist, a bunch of black. Wow, yeah. there you go. It's going around there you go. Stuff, yo, they are trying to put us to right. death. That's the reason why they're doing that. Right. They're trying to make us look like we're a, we're a high level threat. Right. Not only that, because we look militant, we're in order. Right. And sometimes that that discipline will shake up and intimidate right. mm -hmm. others of authority that are like, okay, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. and what hey, you was gonna say, officer? I was gonna say, officer, and just. Just to your point earlier, they know that we are abiding by the laws of the land, so they have to frame mischief by law. Bring yeah, it out, you go. To be, no, to be justified, to be justified with whatever punishment they want yes, to bring sir. upon us. Yes, sir. Or they they end up changing laws. Now mm -hmm. you have to change laws as well. Yeah, right. Go ahead, read what you got. April 25th, 2024. Texas Governor Greg Abbott wrote on Wednesday about arrests that state troopers and riot police made of anti-Israel protests at the University of Texas at Austin, one of the largest and top-ranked public universities in the country. Arrests being made right now and will continue until the crowd disperses. These protests, protesters belong in jail, the Republican governor wrote. Anti-Semitism will not be tolerated in Texas, period. Students, um, as of 9 p.m. local time on Wednesday, 34 protesters had been arrested, according to the Texas Department of Public Safety. According to the department, the arrests were for criminal activity, including criminal trespass. So these, that's, you can stop right there. So these are the laws they're going to start pushing. They're going to come with this stuff. 
and it's going to apply to us. They're going to have to, like Officer Joshua said, they're going to frame mischief by law. Right. Okay, they're going to try to make things up on us, just like uh, um, uh, the revolutionary leaders of the past, Fred yep. Hampton, Huey P. Newton. Remember, you had, you had spies, false brothers, traitors amongst them, and they even said it at their own mouth. These brothers, have they don't do nothing wrong. There you go. They just men. But what do they do? They frame them. They're going to do the same thing to us. You know, Bishop, he did that shout-out Tuesday, I'd say about a week, maybe two weeks ago, with Candace Owens. And she was, when he was bringing out, where well, she was going back and forth with that, uh, that, what is that, the rabbi or whatever. And every time she kept trying to ask him, explain to me how this is anti-Semitism. How, how is it? Then they just don't, all they do is just yell it. Right. That's hey. it. Anti-Semitism. It's anti-Semitic. It's, it's a trope from the past. It's, that's all they how? do, man. Just that's hard. what I'm saying. Explain it. Explain that ish, man, please. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So the fact that gas stations, which generate millions of dollars, right, only Arabs can work there. Ain't that hate towards us? Because yep. we can't own a gas station That's in racism. our ghettos. How come we don't own gas stations? That's true. East Indians in our, in, in our neighborhoods, they own the hotels. Why can't we own hotels? Mm -hmm. Isn't that hatred? Yep. Shouldn't we be crying out? Don't all don't we got banks in the hood? Who owns all those banks? Esau. The so-called white man. Isn't that hatred? Yeah. Right. When you don't allow us to prosper, but you'll let me go work at Dunkin' Donuts. Mm -hmm. You'll let me go work at McDonald's. But I can't have a bank. I can't have a gas station. What did that Arab man do in my in my neighborhood do to get to get that loan to own that gas station? Right. That's generational wealth. Now, How come I can't have that? It's not a loan. Grant. Oh, there you go. I That's stand corrected. They you got grants. a grant. You ain't even got to pay it back. Right. They got I mean, that happened with Afghanistan. Afghanistan. They came over here. They got hella grants. Grant. You don't, hey. don't got to pay a grant back. Hey, I wonder if there's Puerto Ricans in Dubai that own gas stations in their in their neighborhoods. No, I wonder if there's so-called African Americans that own gas stations in Japan. Right. You see, you see what I'm saying? Now, that's mm -hmm. hatred towards us. Yep. You won't allow us to prosper. Yep. Right. But yet you put abortion clinics in our neighborhoods. Mm. This is you put drugs and liquor stores. Right. Gun stores. You put right. gun stores in our neighborhoods. So your right. actions are hateful. But our words, they say sticks and stones can break your bones, but words will never hurt you. Yep. So why are you hurt? Because they hate the truth. That's right. That's this what is it is. It. The truth That's is it. more powerful than any, anything else. And you missed one more thing that they put in our Talk neighborhoods. Talk to me. Right next to the gun store, the liquor store. The hair weaves, though. Christian church. Damn. Damn. Oh, every oh, that's that's hatred. Strip club, too. strip club right there. Strip club. Hatred. The weed man right there. Hatred. Corner Missed store one. right there. That's anti, that's anti Israel Israelism. Yes, sir. Y'all hate us for that. Real anti-Semitism. There you go. So where we at? All right, let's get that other video. Let's get the Bible thumpers. Let's get them Bible thumpers, man, because they claim to know God. But they don't teach anything that the Bible says to do. They do not keep, they don't, they don't keep the laws, and they don't, they damn sure don't teach the laws. Right. Because your actions teach more, right? Your actions you teach outweigh, by your, actions. outweigh your words, right? Mm, Speak okay, louder than okay. words. Yes, right. sir. You got the video? All right. Yes, sir, yes, so sir. let's go. Pull that video up, IT. Just grab one. What we got? Yeah, we good to go. Pull that video. I'll tell you what we got. All right, slide it over. Let's read. Let, let's uh, play that for him. I believe nations have a right to defend their borders. I'm not trying to make it. I, that's above me. I don't know all the details. Do you realize God loves Palestinian people? Do you realize that? Do you realize Christ died for Palestinian people? Bruh. We're to love them. We're to pray for them. We're to seek peace. We're certainly not to say, well, pave the desert with glass, wipe them out. We're to love people. And as, as ministers of the gospel, we're to bring the message of pre peace to all nations, all people. We're to preach the gospel. And all people are in danger of judgment because there's one ark of safety. It's in Jesus Christ alone. Hold on now. Some of y'all eyes oh. was getting watery yeah, out there. Yeah, they're getting watery. Some people's eyes was getting watery. Stay in the spirit, whoever you Y'all watch out now. <laughs> Dump it in the body. Y'all all right? Y'all good? Everybody go say, also. thank you, God. <laughs> Let me go. Say, hey, who Let me video? Go. Who video? Who pulled this? All right, talk about it. Talk about this garbage. 
Because I know his red behind don't know the Bible. He don't. Go, hey, get since he don't know the Bible. Luke 12 real quick, man. Bring it out. Yeah. Luke 12. Help him out. Also, he help him know out. No damn he, Bible, said, he says salvation is for, for everybody. everybody. Christ oh. loves everybody. Oh. Right. God is love. And, and he's a liar. Yep. He was getting redder and redder as he was talking. <laughs> Luke, Luke 12, 51. <laughs> the book of Luke, chapter 12 and verse 51. Let's go. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. That's what he said. This is out of Christ's own mouth. He said, Christ is coming to send peace for, and love for all nations, for everybody. What did Christ say? Read on. I tell you nay, but rather division. Christ said he came to bring division. Right. Bring it out. He came to separate bring the nations. He came to redeem the children of Israel and That's thus right. save the Lord. Hey, not man, my let me, Jesus. Let me, right. Let me back you up right, on right, that. Not my Jesus. Hey, I'm telling Ezekiel you, Chris, 40, I heard that growing up. 47 man. and 3, I think it is. Let me back you up on that, man. Or is it Isaiah 47 and 3? I don't know, but that, that was that Isaiah, was New Testament? Isaiah. <laughs> Read that one more Testament. time. Read. Read. I got you. Eat mic. Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Freedom. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. Finish that. For... For from henceforth there shall be five in one house. Okay, my bad. Go ahead. Isaiah 47. Read that. Yep. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47 and verse 3. Now watch this. The nakedness shall be uncovered. You hear that? Your sins, your lies, your evils, right. Satan, Esau, Amalek, Idumi, and Edom will be uncovered. Come on. Yay. The shame. Thy what? The shame. Shall be seen. Come on. I will take vengeance. What did what did Christ say? I will take vengeance. But he said he came that he came to save everybody. Uh-huh. Come on. And I will not meet thee as a man. That's more like the gospel. Yes, that's, right. that's, that's the gospel. That's the gospel. That's right. Where Christ said, I'm not gonna meet you as a man. What's that mean? When I come back this time around, you ain't gonna be able to just hem me up, crucify right. me, right. rip my beard off my right. face, right. spit in my face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to do those things. Celestial. He said, this time around, I'm going to meet you with the wrath of God. That's right. right. I, you, I will not meet thee as a man. So the Lord is coming to destroy these other nations. Let's get the, let's get the gospel. Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7. Bring it out. Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7. The Lord did not die for all nations. That's right. Bring it out. All the other nations do not need salvation. What do they need salvation from when they got everything they need? Exactly. And, and for the most part, all these nations had their kingdom at one point. They had their kingdom. Yeah, they, they had their kingdom. They had, they had their rulership. Yup. Your time <laughs> came and went. Your blessing came and went. Esau, you are the last blessing. The dew of earth, by the sword you're going to obtain it. And then that's after right. that, that, that's what was symbolic about the brother grabbing hold on the heel. That's right. That eventually your kingdom was going to fall. Right. It's only a matter of time before y'all self-destruct. And kill one another, and Christ come back. Read what you got. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Come on, let's read the gospel. Because he said, this is the gospel. That's right. True gospel. Hold on, but let's read what the Bible say the gospel is. Read. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. The what? The salvation of the righteous. The salvation of the righteous are the commandment keepers of the, of the nation of Israel. That's right. Come on. And destruction of the enemy. And what? Destruction of the enemy. When Christ come back, he's not going to meet you as a man. That's right. He's going to destroy and save us from all our enemies. That's well, right. That goes exactly against what this man just said. Right. Christ coming mm -hmm. to save all nations. So who's the righteous and who's the enemies then if he's saving everybody? Right. right. Where are the enemies at? Right. All right. right. Let's get into these other Bible thumping. These are Bible thumpers right here. Mm -hmm. Jackson police were called out to a dispute at a church this morning. 16 WAPT's Allie Ware tells us what had this congregation divided, leading to an unruly situation. God is not the author of confusion. Worship services. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Immediately. Hold on. Confused. That's, uh, that's got to be in Memphis. He said, God uh, is not the author of confusion. Not Jackson. He confusion. said confusion. Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson. That was Jackson. That wasn't Memphis. It's close enough. Confusion. Close enough. Confusion. Yeah, I thought that was one of our church blitzes, how they be acting, <laughs> right. how they be running up on us. Go ahead. God is not the author of 
confused. Worship services at New Galilean Church did not take place as normal Sunday morning. The members fighting and yelling over the current pastor. Things getting so heated. The police were called to get control of the situation. This man was money hungry. He was after money because he came in spending money ridiculously. He was a manipulator. He was cunning. Members say the current pastor took over the job when the previous pa 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 oh, 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 oh. She, hey, wow. that's what? called whistleblowing. Yeah. That's called whistleblowing. You heard what she said? What'd she say, officer? Y'all ain't hear it? Took over the job? Called it a job. Mm. job. Yep. Ain't, we, ain't, we ain't got no job, job. out here. That's right. Ain't nobody cutting us no checks. Right. That lets you know they are hired by the government. Yep. They right. are hired. Mm. The church and the government hired. work in cahoots with one yep. another. Come on. Micah 3 and 11. Bring they work in conjunction. Run that back to where she said that. Just a few seconds and play it. He was a manipulator. He was cunning. Members say the current pastor took over the job when the previous pastor died. Pause. <laughs> he took over the job. That's, what, that's how he pays bills. Mm. Read what you got. The book of Micah, chapter 3 and verse 11. Bring it out. The his thereof judge for reward. That's the only reason he took that job. He on a J-O-B. Right. He on his job. They ain't teaching for reward. Read. And the priest thereof teach for hire. What did he do? Teach for hire. Because he got high. He filled out an application. That's how he got up in there. Yeah. Yep. Or he already knew somebody in the government office. He knew somebody. He, he was a politician. Come on. And the prophets thereof divine for money. What do they do? Divine for money. They act like they know the Bible just so that you could, they could pass the plate mm -hmm. and manipulate tithing, tithes and offerings mm -hmm. so that they could teach us wrong, the, the wrong understanding of tithes and offerings so that they can, as you can see, they was upset that he was coming in and just splurging. Right. Coming in with new cars. And new rims. New yeah. rims. Oh, all of that. Jewelry. Jewelry looking fly. Run it back to where he said that. Run it back the way he said that. He was Come a manipulator. On. He was cunning. Members say the current pastor took over the job when the previous IT, pastor... IT, let's go! Right he there, was yeah. after money. ...to get control of the situation. This man was money hungry. He was after money. Because he came in spending money ridiculously. He was a manipulator. He was cunning. Members say the current Pause pastor... Pause that. You hear, what, you hear what he said? Yep. He was a manipulator. He was He's cunning. cunning. Mm -hmm. It ain't just him. TD Snakes, All Todd, them. whatever his name is, uh, uh, create a flow of dollars, mm -hmm. Creflo Dollar. Yep. They're all the same. Your local pastor, whatever church you go to, yep. that don't teach you that Christ is black, that don't teach you that you're an Israelite, right. that don't teach you that you got to keep the laws, it's the same concept. Right. All of them are this man right here. Yes, sir. All of them are him. And I was going to say, also. His goal is to get to TD Jakes level. There you His go. His goal is to get Kirk up Kirk Franklin, there. he wanted to he he get to be up there where they at. Like he, yeah. he, right now, he's starting out with them, but he like, right. oh, this, is, this is a stepping stone. Maybe he got to put whipped cream around his mouth. Damn. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> go ahead. No Diddy, no Diddy. diddy go ahead. Shot. Keep diddy reading. Took over the and the, the prophets thereof, divine for money. That's what they do. They're only there for a check, man. They're there for money. They don't give a damn about those black families, those so-called black people. Yep. They don't give a damn about nobody but themselves. Right. Not sparing the flock. They not the sparing the flock. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Was that it on that? No, sir. Go ahead. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? You see damn. that? Why? And he's going to say, see, ain't the Lord ain't the Lord blessing me? Look at my mm -hmm. Rolls Royce. Mm -hmm. Look That's at how they get them because yeah. they know our people are poor, right? Right. They know our people are poor and our people... It's in our spirit to crave these things, right? Mm -hmm. We want the jewelry, we want the nice house, the nice car. Oh, so they use that to feed covetous. off. Right. So right. say covetous. that again. Also? Yep. Say yeah. that again. Covetous. So they 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 play on the emotion the that our people deal with covetousness right. right. because we're in a press state. Yes. Right. They know how to manipulate Proverbs the twenty eight and, and ten. And they're not taught that commandment, officer. They're not that's, taught. That's that's a heavy point right. because now you teach the people that the commandments are done away with. Now that. Breeds that spirit. They can live it out they now. They can live it out now. They can feed so, off that. So, what breeds covetousness is when you're not content. Right. That's it. You know, and we can right. get to that, but yep. let's read this real quick. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 10. Read it out. Diverse weights. Proverbs 28 and 10. Whoso causeth. Oh, 28 and 10. 
the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 10. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. That's what these pastors are doing. They're causing our people who are seeking after the Lord to go the opposite way of what the Bible is saying. So what are they doing? They dig in their own ditch. They're digging their own burial. Come on. But the upright shall have good things and possessions. They ain't got to be covetous. When you understand, you, you're going to have good possessions. You're going to prosper if you keep the commandments of God. But if you go astray, verse 9. Verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. That's when you go astray, when you're not seeking after the law. So you brothers and sisters that's in this Christian church, you shall seek the law out of your pastor's lips. Right. But if you turn your right. ear away from the law, read. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Ain't that what we be praying for? That we prosper? Right. That we, yes, we need right. help financially, spiritually? You know what I'm saying? Right. Physically, health-wise? Yep. That's what we pray for, but then right. we turn away our ear from keeping God's Sabbath. Right. We turn away our ear right. from the dietary law, the uh, ceremonial laws. We keep the traditions of men. Right. So you turn your you you turning away from these things. How are you going to be blessed? It's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Hey, can I get a precept? Yeah, real quick? absolutely. Hey, go to Sirach 27 and one, showing you the spirit that this uh, pastor was rolling in. The Book of Sirach, chapter 27 and verse one. Let's go. Many have sinned for a small matter. There he go right there. This covetous spirit he got for the cause, the money, all the stuff he came in there buying is a small matter. He going to lose his soul for material gain. Dang. Go ahead. And he that seeketh for abundance. For what? Abundance. Much, much money. That stuff costs a lot of money. Them people mad. Right. Because how much money came through that church that he took and spun on his own personal gain. Damn. Read it again. And he that seeketh for abundance will turn his eyes away. You see that? He, ain't, he, ain't, he turned his eyes away from doing the right thing. And it was all about prosperity it for himself, his own greedy gain. There you go. Yeah, go ahead, Officer Ross. Yeah, go to Sirach 31 and uh, 5. Sirach 31 and 5. Come on, read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 31 and verse 5. Read it he that love of gold shall not be justified. He that love of gold shall not be justified. Read on. And he... That follow of corruption shall have enough thereof. And that's all these pastors. They follow after corruption. Read. Gold have been the ruin of many. Gold have been the ruin of many. Damn. Chasing that gold, chasing that money. Right. Has destroyed many. Read. Right. And the destruction was present. Read. It you see it going down right then. It's present. It it's on it's live going on TV. Right there, yes, sir. <laughs> on, on live TV, you going <laughs> hey, down. There's a whole revolt and uproar <laughs> going on at a church. At a yeah. church. Bruh, because all the evil on. that they doing, right? Read on. It is a stumbling block unto them that sacrifice. Because that is their God. That is their idol. It has become a stumbling block yeah. to them. Read. That sacrifice unto it. And every fool <laughs> shall be taken their will. And that's what we see in live, live HDTV, hey, oh 4K. Oh, buddy was like, he coming in with these nice cars. He coming in with <laughs> yeah, all this jewelry. Money hungry. Yeah, manipulating he manipulating us. He was after money. Where's my cut? Right, yeah. He said he's spending right. He was supposed to be a deacon. <laughs> right, I was supposed to be. <laughs> How wicked. How wicked. I was mean, supposed to be a deacon. deacon. <laughs> Did you give me some? He was supposed we'll to make me an elder. I'm going to expose you, bro. Hey, how wicked did he have to be for them to all raise up? Right. They, they, they sheep. They lost. Oh, church. No, they rose up. They what, rose up. It's what, like, Officer, Officer Les said, he came in, he was flexing with the money. He flexing. Right. With, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ridiculously, Lily. Ridiculously, Lily. <laughs> Play the video. When the previous pastor died, some were unsure about him having the job from the beginning. He built a church. He paid this church off. <laughs> you gonna let a Johnny come, hey, come here hey, and stop that. He gonna be the next pastor. Yeah. He gonna be he put, hey, good yeah. right now. He's campaigning. He's campaigning. He set up a whole coup. Yeah. 
<laughs> he set up a whole cool. Hey, that's hey, the look Absalom. How he's smirking. Put the that's, camera you know, on me. Hey, look how he's smirking. Hey, that's the Absalom spirit. He's yeah, kissing babies. Hey. Yeah, kissing babies. I'm telling you. Uh, that boy got Absalom. lobbyists and everything, bro. Man. Look how he's smirking, bro. <laughs> he couldn't wait to be in front he of He's like, yeah, I got him. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm I was the head deacon. deacon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Now, now, I'm, I'm going to come in next. with new cars. It's with a heavy heart. I'm going to manipulate. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> getting a Bentley next. It's with a heavy heart that I had to take right. up the mantle of this church. <laughs> <laughs> this is next sermon. Them plates are going to finish at my terminal. Mm. They coming to me. Press play. Voted in. He only got 147 votes. On yesterday, we voted him out. Over 400 people voted him out. The church board voted to terminate the pastor in a meeting Saturday. But not every member balances. is behind that decision. And I don't want him to go anywhere because if he leaves, I'm leaving. Dang. Andrew says oh, she's been attending New Galilee since she was eight years old, and that some of the congregation are spreading rumors and lies about what the pastor does. Pause. And this is what we see going on a lot in the church. These past, hey, these churches are finished. Yep, yeah. they're causing a rift, and people are getting split. Excuse me. People are, are splitting up. They, they, the sheep is getting right. spread. They lost. Mm. Yep. They're confused. This is why we got to hit the streets 365, 24-7. Out there, content yes. coming out, radio show, classes, street right. teaching, traveling the world what? because our people need us, man. Hey, and these churches are crumbling because a lot of our brothers and sisters are repenting and keeping the commandments and That's leaving right, yeah. these evil, wicked yeah. churches. They're leaving them. So now, whenever they see a decline in their in their churches... That whole money system and scheme that they had mm -hmm. is deteriorating. Mm -hmm. So now whenever they do, when somebody does leave, it's affecting their pockets. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Also, let's remember. It, it's more disturbing to them. It, cr it creates more, more chaotic right. because they're, they're trying to hold. That's why they hate us so much. Yep. What you got? Now, I was going to say, remember, Creflo Dollar had to change his whole doctrine about there tithing. There you go. Right. Because the people are like, yo, I keep right. seeing these brothers in the streets. Right, right. They bring out some good some, scripts. Yo, what's this tithing about, Pastor? Yep. And he had to change his whole doctrine. He said, he don't, nah, don't do tithing no more. Creflo <laughs> said that. <laughs> right. Get, and, uh, and, you know, they, they say separation of church and state, right? But when we start hitting their pockets because the people are leaving... Now they're going to start going to the politicians. Yep. They're going to start trying to pass them laws. And then they're going to be like, hey, them people out there, they're doing that anti-Semitism stuff out there. There you go. Yep. Get Ezekiel 34 and 1. That's exactly what they're going to do Also, get a lie. Read that. The book of Ezekiel. Power uh, read. Come on. Chapter 34 and verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against Come the, on. the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them. So that's what we're doing here on Wisdom Cry Thou. We are prophesying against these false teachers, these that's false right. prophets. Come on. Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Unto y'all. The Lord has a message for you. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. What do they do? Feed themselves. Because if we are getting funds in the church, guess who's supposed to go to? It's supposed to go back to the, to the flock. Exactly. It goes back to the people. Only time it goes to the leaders is when we're out there by the highways and the byways putting our lives on the line, reading and re teaching and reading to the people the Bible, mm -hmm. teaching them the laws. To do the work. To do the work. Do the work. Yep. Come on. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? You hear what you hear what God says? Ain't we supposed to feed the flock? Ain't that what Christ told Peter? That's right. If you love me, feed, feed the flock. Right. He didn't say feed your pockets. Mm -hmm. He didn't say feed yourself. Come on. Ye eat the fat, uh -huh. and ye clothe you with the wool. So you look nice. You having five-star dinners. Mm -hmm. You having all these, you, you, you splurging. Come Please. on. Ye kill them that are fat. Because you don't, you don't discover their iniquity. You don't correct them. Come on. But ye feed not. The flock. And you not feeding the flock. How do you feed the flock? With bread and water when you read Sirach 15 and 3. That's right. Which goes into the understanding and the wisdom of the scriptures. Right. The laws of God that we are the real Jews. Come on. The disease have you not strengthened. Come on. Neither have ye healed that which was sick. Read. Neither have you bound up that which was broken. Come on. Neither have you bought again that which was driven away. Because that's what we are. We're destroyed. We're sick, all right? We're broken. We, have, we feel like there's no hope, all right? So we end up turning to gangs because we're looking for somewhere to fit in. Right. We turn right. into the, all these, right. our sisters turn into Oli fans. Our sisters turn into a lot of stuff. Brothers turn into things. Come on. 
Neither have you self that which was lost. So we were driven away with what? Christianity, Catholicism, Islam, with lies. Mm -hmm. And now we're lost. Remember what Christ said. You, you're not... We, he's only coming for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Facts. you not draw, you not bringing them back. Right. You're supposed to bring the sheep back and teach them who Facts. they are. That's for a lot of brothers that sit in a purple chair. You need to come out of that chair one day and teach your people right. and drive them back home, bring them back home, right. and teach them that they're lost. Right. Come on. But with force and with cruelty have ye ruled But them. that's what they're doing. With force and with cruelty. Are they teaching? Are they? You know how many times they pass that plate around, bro? Wow. They literally forcing them and watching them like, you gonna yeah. just flick a quarter in there? Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. they just looking like, right. we ain't you know, until I hit this mark, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Brother Herman, brother Herman, don't ever put no money in the plate. Let's rule them out, y'all. <laughs> Not even that. I mean that officer. They say you don't. Y'all don't love. I one pastor say y'all don't love me. Yeah, y'all, because they wasn't giving enough money. They oh, weren't giving them all the money he wanted. He's like, y'all don't right. know me. Hey, right. like, he wanted a Rolls Royce watch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. He's like, I want to buy a new watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I want to buy a new Rolex. Y'all don't love me. Mm -hmm. And right. they, they also sell, uh, selling false dreams as well, false hopes. Can I get a preset real quick? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Go to uh, Jeremiah chapter fourteen and verse three. 14 and 3. They sell them false dreams and hopes, and they believe in the pastor. That's why that one sister was like, hey, if he leave, mm -hmm. I'm leaving. She mm -hmm. believed everything he ever told, and the lie, she's still going to follow it, and there she see go. that he's corrupt. Y'all, go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 3. And their nobles have sent their little ones to the water. So they sent them to the water. The nobles is the leaders. They sent them somewhere. Go ahead. They came to the pits uh -huh. and found no water. Uh -huh. They returned with their vessels empty. They were ashamed and confounded uh -huh. and covered their heads. You see that? So that's how they leaving the people, shamed and confounded. Once Damn. again, that's why the uproar was going on. Right. They're shamed and confounded on the way that their leader has led them. There you go. So you you brothers and sisters at home, remember what the scripts say, do not be deceived. Don't be gullible. All right? Them, the, hey, maybe when you was young, when we was young, they ran game on us. Right. We believed in Santa Claus and white Jesus and all that. But now as adults, come on, it's time It's time to put away the lies and the garbage. That's right. right. Okay? You can't run game on us no more. Repent and keep right. the commandments of God. That's right. All right? Don't allow them to continue to scatter your people into these lies. All right? The Bible, the Bible in these last days, truth is springing out of the earth. Right. And there's nothing that our enemies could do about it. Right. All right, let's get into that coon of the week. Coon of the week, IT. We're gonna we gonna get that uh ribbed up. So I say also I say, how you feeling, bro? Hey, I'm feeling pretty good, sir. I'm feeling pretty good. We got oh. scoffers online. I, I and see always, that. And I always let us know crazy work. That's, That's always a good sign. In Christianity. Hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. That, that increased my faith. Anytime somebody coming against this gospel, yeah. I just, I just, they're going I'm crazy, crazy tonight. I, hey, we shout appreciate out, you. Shout out to you, scoffers, man. That's right. We need, we need, we need haters. We need more. All right. All right. All right, where we at? Let's see. This is, uh, we gonna play the intro? It's the coon of the week. <laughs> I got to record I'll pray. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all all right. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right. I like that, yo. That was, that was good. That was good. All right, play. What, what the hell is going on? And I already on? know his comments, so I'm gonna clear it up in advance. Like, oh, pause, I pause, that pause. No, that look Whoa. like a, that look like a Haitian. Whoa. Ooh. What? Yo. No, 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 I didn't Damn, say a Levi. Damn, I didn't say a Levi. Dude got them cheekbones, bro. Yeah. Uh, first of all. Dude got them Haitian cheekbones, First bro. of all. Y'all better not say that's a she. I ain't going to say that. Who no, says she? Who says she look like a Haitian? He said she look like that. I'm, I'm going to let y'all have it tonight. I ain't that, hey, that voice uh -oh. was very, very, it was a lot of, <laughs> lot of bass. Hey, hey, you might outnumber the text. Hey, that voice. Bro. You might outnumber the here. His voice was competing with Allahu. Oh, <laughs> man. It's the book. It's the book. Do the run I'm going to go ahead and clear the air right now. I'm going like to clear the air right I'm now. Right I'm going to go ahead and clear the air right now. Officer Reed like he's from GMS, man. So chill out, man. <laughs> hey, run the video back, play that. And I already know his comments, so I'm going to clear it up in advance. Like, Sheesh. oh, how he going back to being a man? And he still got them big old. Guess what? The devil tricked me into getting all this stuff. And it didn't happen overnight. And God has delivered me mentally and spiritually first. So these, 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 these are just the demonic attachments I got to get off me. God has already delivered me <laughs> mentally. Pause that, pause that. 
demonic attachments. Damn. This, this brother here, this is a brother. He understands that he's dealing with the spirit of Satan. Right. He's aware of that. He, that's why he's saying it. Right. In the back of his mind, the reason why he's making this video, he knows something ain't right. He feel guilty. For real, for real, he feel guilty. And he's trying to counsel his own way through his mind to feel a little bit better about the mistakes that he made. Mm -hmm. But he's going the wrong way about it. He was like, well, I got these for a reason now. I can't go back. It's like, no, bro. Repent, bro. Yeah. What are you doing? You can repent. Go ahead. Press play. Spiritually, oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God is good. He's already delivered me. I feel it in my bones. I feel pause free. That, pause that. Pause that. See, that's white supremacy, man. Mm -hmm. You know how you know that's white supremacy also? Look at his eyes. Yep. He still got him. Yep. Hey, he hated did all right. types, all types of surgery. Right. Hey, there's something that a lot of people don't know, and I just want to tell y'all this, right? When it comes to that, because there's a lot of surgeries that's going on, a lot of people don't understand uh, where you see, a, not only are they, you know, doing the blonde hair or whatever, mm -hmm. but our people that hate themselves are changing the color of their eyes. Yeah. T.I.'s wife did that. You see what I'm saying? Surgery. A lot of them are changing it to green, blue, whatever, hazel, right? But this is what people don't understand, is that that's actually a recessive gene. It, yeah. That's Bring a it degenerate. Bring that's it degenerate. Out. Yes, it is. Because the reason why our eyes are brown is because there's a film over our eye, a layer that's known as melanin, right. that mm -hmm. makes your eyes brown. Right. right. So all the doctor does to make your eyes blue or green or whatever is he removes the melanin from your eye. Man, so everybody got blue green eyes. Everybody got a color underneath that melanin. Mm -hmm. But you need that melanin to protect you from the sun. Yep. Bring it to out. To get officer. vitamin out, D officer. from the sun. That's right. it. So why do you like we all if it wasn't for that melanin your eyes wouldn't be beautiful brown. That's right. right. I was going to say officer and not only that you're taking yourself away from your creator. The oh, first yes. author of beauty. And you're, we made in the image of God. You know so that? who are so you getting near? The devil, hey, Satan. Proverbs 331. You envying they, your oppressor and taking yourself your... away from the image of the most high God. Right. There you go. So why why are we embracing defects and degeneralism? Why are we doing that? Press play. I feel like I'm not walking around in a costume. I feel like I'm not, I'm not walking around in a mask. And trust me, I've been impatient all my life. Trust me, I've been impatient all my life. This is the one thing I read a lot of scriptures about patience. Because this is not me this hey, time. Hey, this pause is real quick. What book say? Yeah. What that, that book say? It's a whole back. different book, and they talk <laughs> about scriptures. I'm telling you. Joel Osteen book. Yep. Because <laughs> a lot of these pastors, not a lot, all of these oh. pastors got their own uh, self-help book, counsel book. <laughs> They'll take one scripture and make write a whole book about right, it. Right, say it was inspired by God. And, and say it's inspired by God, yep. It's a quest study Bible, NIV. Tell you. Oh, God. Damn, man. All confusion. He on a quest on. to try to find itself. <laughs> May the force be with him. Press play. I read a lot of scriptures about patience because this is not me this time. This is God. He's just using me as a vessel. Lord, I finally get it. I finally get it, Bro. Lord. You just want to use me. And Bro. Lord, I'm no. available yeah. to you. Nate. Okay, so just, okay. Just stay so uh, he is talking to the Lord, and his Lord is Satan. That's what you got to understand. He ain't yeah. talking to the God of the, the Bible. Bible. right? I don't know what Bible he reading, but that ain't the, that ain't the KJV. That ain't, that ain't the Bible of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Negative. that says that. Negative. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Where's that? Um, give me that in Sirach real quick. Where it says changing of kind, or is that Wisdom of Solomon? Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon 14. 14. Give me that Wisdom of Solomon 14, man. The book, the yeah, book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 26. Uh, read verse 22. Verse 22. I'll read. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God. They erred in the knowledge of God, meaning they made mistakes because they got a, they they claim to have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. Come on. Right. But whereas they live in the great war of ignorance. That what we see right there, that right there is the great war of ignorance. That's heavy. That is a great war of yeah. ignorance. That's heavy. Come on. Those so great plays called they peace. You see that? Oh, I'm at peace with my ignorance. Right. That's the that's the war of, that's that war of ignorance. That you are at peace with you destroying yourself. Right.
becoming something that you're not. God made you a man, and you and you had a brain fart. You went ahead and just reconfigured your whole body. Right. Think about it. You were made in the image of Christ, and you destroyed yourself utterly. Come on. For whilst they slew their children as sacrifices, come on, or used secret ceremonies, or that, made revelings. That goes into abortions and, and so forth. Come on. Or made revelings of strange rites. That was fiesta. That's what we went over, that carnival. Come on. They kept neither love nor marriages any longer undefiled. You see that? We just went over the marriage that was that was defiled, right? Where the brother dressed up as a woman and the, and, and, and the woman dressed up as a man. We no longer kept the laws of God right. sacred and right. honorable. Come on. But either one slew another traitorously Come or on. grieved him by adultery so that the rain and all men without exception, blood, manslaughter, theft, and dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumults, perjury. Think about it. This was everything that that, that, that so-called that church, right? That's what they were saying that this pastor was doing. Theft. Perjury, lying, manipulating, right. yep. taking the money, robbing, yep. stealing. Come on. Disquieting of good men. Lying, For, come on. Forgetfulness of good turns. Read. Defiling of soul. What? Defiling of soul. In order for, for, the next, for the next one to happen, you have to defile your soul first, meaning right. your mind has to be defiled. Mm. Right. Once your mind is defiled, what's going to happen? Read. Changing of kind. Now you act on that. You act on that evil. Now, all of a sudden, you done changed your kind. Right. You went from mankind to womankind. Right. And then a lot of the time, what you see, a big thing happening now with them, they want to go back. Because that's what he was saying in the video. Yep. They're trying to yeah. transition back. And right. sometimes they go too far where they can't go back. They've mm -hmm. done so much damage right. the where they can't go back. And they really get messed up. And that's when that suicide comes yep. in and right. all type Bring of stuff. Yep. All type of yep. stuff. Hey, the leadership brought this out where they said, uh, I think it was uh, Bishop Nathaniel. Uh, on that class that he did, we brought out Mark 7, where you bring out those sodom, those sodomy spirits, they go past the seven spirits. They right. go, they, they put on 20 plus, 30, 40, 50 spirits. And they bring in confusion, so they got to learn at home. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, also, 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 with that change in the kind, there wasn't, you know, physical, it was mental as well. His right. whole being changing of right. kind, his train of countenance. thought, all that. Right. Yeah, his countenance, mm -hmm. his... his his voice, his mannerisms. So rock 1929. You know what I'm saying? Can I get one on that real yeah. quick? All them sodomites, bro, they all got legions on them. Let's yep. put it that way. They got legions. Go ahead, Uh Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 10. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 10. Come on. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination. And that was his own imagination that he did himself. Like, I want to be a woman. God created me this way. He put me in the wrong body. They say all those things when they get to this point. Mm -hmm. But that's their own imagination. Yep. From top again. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination. Now he think he have a relationship with God. He spoke to me. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> That's still his own imagination because the action is supposed to take place. Not just you getting on a on a on a uh on that platform trying to confess right. it. Exactly. Right. No, right. you're gonna right. put your action for one more time from the top. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination, uh -huh. which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. That's what they did. They forsaken the Lord. Hey, because you know what's so heavy about that, Officer Michael? Because like the brother said in the video that he's trying to change and all that. Right. But what God, like you said it too, Officer Les, what God are you really conforming to? Right. What, go. what are you really changing to? Right. You, you're going to go from one evil to another evil. The right. God of the NIV. Right. The God of the NIV. The, the quest. Murdoch. The quest yep. God. Yep. It's another, quest. You're just going to go from one God, from one evil to another evil. So yep. it's Lord's will, brother, get his mind right. There you go. That's yeah. what I wanted to say. Lord's will, brother, you repent. repent. All right? right. You don't right. pull a, uh, what was that dude, Antoine Dotson? Yeah. I remember, I, yep, yeah, he it was another they, one too. Like, I ain't, I don't like men no more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, deliver, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but deliver. he went right back to his vomit, though. He went, <laughs> he went, he went back, back to his he vomit, went back. Yep. Yep. That's one dot so yep. when you repent, do not go back to your vomit, keep right. the law, stand firm, and stay steadfast, right? All right, finish your course. So, all praise be to the most high God, get out. Right. This was our class, Bible. Thumper, Bible Humpers, Bible Thumpers. Yep, oh. the, the Shout thumb out to yeah. who came up with those so, bars, oh, Martin? So, oh, yeah, Martin. 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 Soldier Martin came up with the thumbnail. All right, all right, okay, all right. All Shout praises. out to Soldier Mark. So all praise to the Most High. That's the class, y'all, uh, the show.
So we pray that y'all got something out of it. All right, make sure y'all share, comment, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already, show us some support, Israel. Yes, All right, can we get into the announcements? Yes, sir. Join the revolution, 12 tribes worldwide. Join us on IUIC TV. Download the app for free. Uh, we're on all social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Make sure you subscribe to IUIC Austin. Wisdom crieth out. Donate via PayPal. Help us improve the show. Donate at IUIC.Austin at IsraelUnite.org. And donate to the Booster Club. We are sending the prophets worldwide. Y'all already witnessed what leadership is doing, shaking That's up the right. entire planet Earth. That's right. Send funds to IUIC.fundraising at IsraelUnite.org. The Curse of Miriam. Hey, continue to support true imagery. Donate royaltyfilms.com. It's right. real easy. Click and donate. Next slide. Hey, subscribe, subscribe to our platforms. We're trying to build these up. IUIC, Dominican Republic. Puerto Rico on YouTube. IUIC Antigua. St. Vincent. So thank you, Israel. And we are asking if you would kindly take a few minutes Hit that QR code. Tell us how we can improve the show. Answer five brief questions. And also, don't forget, check out IsraelUnite.org, where we have all kinds of information going on about the nation. Next slide. Thank you, Wrap Austin. It up. Wrap it up. That's right. Wrap it up. That's right. Wrap it up. <laughs> Shout out to those that came through. All the brothers and sisters, the tech That's team, right. the kitchen team, man. All pray to the most high y'all in the spirit. That's right. We appreciate y'all. So with that, Shout out to Big Wolf. That's, That's right. right. Bishop Kanai. All right. Yes. Shout out to the fam. Shout out to uh, all praise be to the most high God in Christ. All right. We pray y'all follow. Uh, come back next week. Another edition. I'm Officer Halez. Officer Razzis. Officer Micah. Officer Asher Hell. Officer Get Alive. Officer Joshua. And we make up. WCO. Don't cry.